Three, two, one. Here we go. Hopefully I do this right a second time. Nope, I fucked it up the second time. Whoopsie. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. The second I <laughs> fucked it up the second time. Why is he hot? Most of the dragons in this are hot. Okay. Matt stream flashbacks? Did Matt stream this? When did Matt stream this? All the dragons. I mean, yeah, it, it's just... there. Okay, there's a couple of dragons that are not great. Once we get into, like... Beast Makers... The dragons start to... Not look incredible, if I'm honest. You know? Shiny Finizen! Oh, that's awesome. You got the purple boy. That's nice. Okay. Let's get this. You and you. Uh, okay. Hopefully I didn't miss one of the gates. I don't think that I did. We're about to find out. He did it as one of the things for the subathon. Oh. Let me tell you, if you plan on playing the Spyro games and haven't before, buckle up for these. Um, these are definitely the hardest bit of Spyro, the at least the first game. Um. The, the flight levels are, like, a real pain. Uh, slow given. Welcome, Prime Gaming. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the flight levels, it's just, it's not great. Thank you. Let's do Dark Hollow next. Don't need the extra lives. I, there's only one point where I'll... I think there's only one point where I'll tactically... Uh, kill myself in this. I, uh, treetops, I'll jump off the map a couple of times on purpose. Uh, Reignited definitely did make them feel better. They, they didn't feel as, like, janky. <laughs> you hate treetops? That I can understand. Which is funny, because when... Reignited Trilogy was coming out. Um, Treetops was one of the first levels that they showed. Like, I I went to Toys for Bob, right? When they were making this game. Uh, Matt and I went. So Matt and I got to go to Toys for Bob when Reignited Trilogy was being made. And they let us play a couple of levels early. Um... It was, it was really funny. They had, like... Uh, there, there's a video about it on the Achievement Hunter channel. But they... They had, like, a petting zoo. Did I mess a gem there? No, okay. They had a petting zoo there. Um, with sheep. So it was like, you could, you know... You could, you could pet the sheep. Which is pretty funny. And, like, you know, we met the... We met a bunch of the animators, and we met a bunch of the, uh... The, like, the people who did the music, and... You know, like, we sat there and listened to what they did. Ooh, missed that. We sat there and listened to what they did. 
and ow. It was like me and a bunch of other like really big Spyro fans, obviously. Um, and they were like, ooh, is there any thing you'd like to hear? Like, especially any any music from any level specifically. Oh, that's a really hard one. That's that's another tough one. I get one more shot at it. Uh, and Matt and I both without missing a beat. Yeah. Without missing a beat, Matt and I were both like, ooh, um, we want to hear the music from, and like I said, it's been so long, so I'm going to have a hard time remembering the names of all the levels. It's like, it's, it's, it's a volcano level in Ripto's Rage. I can't remember the name of it, but the music goes like, I knew all. Oh, I knew all. Magma Cone, that's it. And I was like, dude, we gotta, like, you gotta play us that one. Because I, I love that music. So, because Matt and I all the time would do that to each other. Like, you, you'll hear Matt and I say that to each other in videos randomly. Like, in Achievement Hunter videos. Every now and again, you'll hear Matt and I go, I'm Nua. No, I'm Nua. No, I'm Nua. I'm Nua. You'll hear, us, you'll hear us just randomly do that in videos. And we're referencing the music from Magma Cone. When, when we get there, you'll hear it. Dip your stick. Welcome back to your 15th month. By the way, the music I have on in this is um, the original music. I don't have the reignited music on there. The reignited music is awesome. And it, um, it's dynamic. So, like, when you're in a cave, it gets a slight echo. When you stand still and don't run around... Um, it gets quieter when you're running. It gets like a faster drum beat to it. It's it's really uh, cool what they did with it. But just uh, for me personally, I can't beat the nostalgia of the of the original music. So like, I don't want to diminish the work of the, you know of the reignited music, but it's just, it, you know. There's a special place in my heart for the OG music. Uh, alright, so, man, this key when I was a kid, finding that key was such a moment. I remember that. I remember finding that key when I was, like, really young. I mean, so, what year did this come out? 97? It's Gavin. 98. And I played this, I think, the year it came out. So, I was, I was seven years old. Um... And I remember, like, I couldn't find that key. Like, you know, I, I wasn't really concerned with, uh, completing the game, and, like, in, until eventually I was like, oh, I need to find, I need to try to find everything in this. <laughs> this was definitely also, like, the first time my parents were like, oh, boy, video games are gonna be a whole issue. Because there was one moment where I was playing this game, and my sister was with me. And we were both just like sitting around. I was playing. And I kept um, like charge jumping. I just was holding charge and jump. So Spyro was like bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And my sister was getting really annoyed that I was doing it. And was like, stop doing that. Stop doing like the bouncing and stuff. And I, like I was just doing this. It was like on this level, I believe, too. And um, my sister was like, stop doing that. And she told on me. She told my parents. <laughs> and they were like, oh my fucking god. That's another little speed running thing you can do there um, with the egg thieves. If you um, flame them when you are off the ground it will skip the animation of the egg like floating over to you that's another little thing you can do if you're actually looking to like you know get a competitive time in this game
Sparky Blue Fang, welcome back. Happy to have you back for another one. Uh, uh, uh. Did I ever play Enter the Dragonfly? Yeah, I actually I played it when I was young and I didn't like it. And then I played it again on stream, like, not too long ago. And I just was like, I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate this. It was, like, on... It was on stream I was playing it. And I was like, oh, my God. I, I despise what I'm playing. What's my favorite monster drink? Um... Oh, never mind. I know the answer to that. Immediately, it's the um, it's the nitrous, the green ones. I forget the um. I forget the full name of it, but it, it, if you know the one I'm, you know, if you know the one I'm talking about, you know. <laughs> it's like a black and lime green can. Oops, missed that. Oh, missed that too. We're okay. Hopefully I don't lose sparks, because that... That makes going quicker a whole lot more annoying. The ones that are like Red Bull sized? Yeah, those are the ones. They're so good. I don't know what it is about them. Like, first off, it's lime flavored, and, you know, I like lime. Dusty! Oh, no! There we go. It contains milk. Yeah, so we, like, at least there's a bunch of sheep outside this level. <laughs> Sparks, no! <sighs> yeah, the different breath was was cool. I think that was a cool idea, but. I don't know. It's just like the, a lot of the level designs felt like kind of sloppy and uninspired and like they were the same controls, but like, I don't know. It just, it felt like a game that was handed off to someone, which it was, you know what I mean? Like, and you, you could feel that like playing it. You're like, this isn't a game that you made. This is a game that you got the you got the resources for. Oh my god, I almost fucked that up. And then made a game out of it. Malakoy, welcome back for your 10th month. Yeah, get back to work, cat. Why are you not working right now? Make us money. <laughs> Cat has a real person job, as I often say. I'm here doing my fake person job. That's not nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. You're right. I love you. The cat just told me to work harder. Is that what she just said? Is that what just fucking happened? Did she did cat just come in here, obliterate me, and leave?
damn cat. You didn't have to you didn't have to thrash me like that in my own stream. I thought what you and I had was special. God, it was justified and amazing. <laughs> Whoops. Justified and amazing is my new cologne coming out soon. That's my that's my new scent. Justified and amazing. This is 100% that I'm going for. Going for a hun Going for a hundo! Uh, oh my god, guys. Last night, though, um... After the stream, I... You know, I got my food and I was, like... Sitting on the couch downstairs. It's like eating, getting ready for bed. And, uh, okay, so it's this. Yeah, yeah, all right. Artisans is done. Um, so I was like, I, and so I turned on, uh, Twitch. I opened Twitch and I saw Sidearms was streaming. And he was streaming, blah, 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 He was streaming Pokemon. And I was like, oh, I'll turn this on. And he was doing the Elite Four. And Scotch was in the chat, too. And we were just watching him play. It was so fucking funny. It was really funny watching Scotch play, because Scotch is uh, watching Sidearms play, because he was trying not to get spoiled by anything, and he hasn't, like, seen anything about the game, and, like, he got to the, uh, he got to, uh, Gita, or whatever her name is, like, the champion, and, uh, she sent out, it's like, Gita's about to use Glamora, and he's like, what the hell is this thing? And he's like, well, I guess we'll just, like, because he didn't know what typing anything was, because he hadn't, like, seen a bunch of things. So he kept, he kept just putting, like, the Alpha Dilla, welcome back for your 19th month. No, Logan, I didn't watch Taskmaster because I want to watch it with Cat. I want to watch the ones I haven't seen with Cat so we can both see it for the first time. Um, but, like, he he kept throwing, like, his Meowska Raid or whatever it's called. Meows, Meowska Rada, whatever it is. He kept, like, putting that thing out. Because it could U-turn out once he learned what move it was. Like, what type it was. But <laughs> she sent out Glamora, which is a poison rock type. And he was going, what the fuck? Uh, he's like, I need to judge what type this is just based on the color it is. And he's like, this thing's got to be water. It's a fish. There's no way this thing isn't a fish. <laughs> and it was just killing me. So I was saying, there's no way this isn't a fish. Oh, fuck, I hit that cactus. No! There we go. That one's pretty annoying. Fuck. Hey, Conan. See ya. This is another map where I had, like, a total revelation as a kid. Oh, God. When I, when I found this whole thing. When I was like, oh, my God, wait, you can glide over here and then go, like, I'm like, they designed a level like this? You know what I mean? Like, it, oh, God. It, like, blew my mind. This. I was like, what the hell? It's just like it bring it brings back so many memories. 
this game. It really does. I mean, there's a reason I have a Spyro tattoo. <laughs> this game really does mean that much to me. This guy's got a really cool design. Here, I'll show you his design. I won't skip it right away. He looks like a bomber plane. Look at. Is that you, Spyro? He's got a great design. Ow. Too bad I never got my VO career off the ground. I would have loved to have been a dragon in this. Just a simple, thank you for releasing me. If a B-32 was a dragon, yeah, pretty much. Uh, Malakoy, thank you for the hundred bits. Those hundred bitties. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Take old bitties. Oh, I did miss a... I did miss a gem somewhere. That was my first missed gem. I think it was at the beginning. I think I remember missing one at the beginning. Yeah. Down here. Ah! There we go. <laughs> but I've done the old man voice. I mean, for that dragon. Is that you, Spyro? You're the young whippersnapper everybody's been talking about. Oh. There's the there's that one uh Who's this little guy? There there's there's that one dragon that goes. I don't I don't think it was that one. I think it's a later one. Oh, it might have been that guy where he goes, Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke. I think it's a later dragon that says that. Can't remember if that was him or not, but one of them calls Spyro a wee puff of smoke. Oh, I'm gonna go for another little speedrunny thing here. Um, that if I fuck up, I die. There we go. That one's on the riskier side. <laughs> This, this map is really cool. This is... This is the map that, like, blew my mind as a kid. It, it was this map. Because... Like, I hadn't... You know, I hadn't played a ton of games by this point, right? No, this isn't a no-death run. Just just completing the game as fast as I can. Um. Oh, there's, there's another... This is really hard. I, like... Never get this. I'll try it like three times. If I don't get it, I'm just gonna say fuck it. Oh my god! That's really hard to do. I can't believe I did that. Um. What was I saying? Oh, um, this level, like, I hadn't played a lot of games by this point when I was a kid. Um, and I remember, like, at the top, once you get to the top of this, like, area here, 
when I realized you could fly to that area across the river, I was like, what? No, you can't. That's way too far. Like, I remember, like, my little kid brain was like, that's just background. That's just, like, an image that they put back there. That's not really an area I can go. And it was like, yeah, you can. And I just remember being, like, absolutely blown away that the game had that kind of power. This right here. That you could do this. This blew my mind. I just did not think the area over here was actually real. It's easy to miss some gems in this area, so hopefully I didn't. But, you know, find out near the end. Yeah, there's these two. Thank you. Oops. Woo! Oh, we did miss something. What do we miss? Down here? Other side. Aha! There we go. That was, honestly, the most impressive thing I'm going to do this speedrun was not getting that gem. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the amount of maneuvering to go around that gem without picking it up. That's going to be the most impressive thing I do this whole speedrun. When's world record? I would never do... Dude, that's... That's so much, like, the the reason I never really got into speed, I love watching people speed run, right? I think it's very, it's it's incredible to watch people speed run. Um, but the reason I personally never got into speed running is because, and like, why even this speed run, it's just very laid back, you know? It's not like I'm trying a bunch of crazy strategies or anything, um, like min-maxing my level time or whatnot. Is because, like, I play games to relax. It's a lot of preparation. I play games to relax. And I feel like speedruns, a lot of them is just, like, you're under constant pressure. You know, like, you're under pressure to be perfect for, like, a extent, a, like, really extended period of time. You know, and it's like, oh, I, I fucked that up. Like, time to redo the whole run. Oh, and the glitches, and yeah, it's just like, it's, it's incredible. It's like, oh, there's this frame perfect glitch you can do, and you'll skip this whole bit, and... It, it's a, it, I mean, it's amazing to watch, but it's never something that someone like me, who, like, likes to play video games to relax, could ever do. I mean, it's why I stopped playing competitive multiplayer games. Like, it's why I stopped playing shooters and stuff like that, because it was, it was just too much pressure. Like, I just felt too much pressure to try to be good, and I was like, I don't want to do that. I just want to be, like... Me. <laughs> it's why I would like particularly get to me whenever people like said I was really good at a game. 
like, in Achievement Hunter, like, it was this ongoing thing where they, like, people would claim I was really good at Gang Beasts, even though I was never really good at Gang Beasts. And, um, it just, like, always annoyed me, because then I felt like there was this, like, pressure on me to do well. Like, people were expecting me to do well in it. And then I wouldn't, and like the, you know, because I wasn't good at it. And then the whole time people would be like, what happened? I thought you were really good at this. I'm like, no, I never said that. You said that. Like, you said that, and now you're making me feel bad for not doing well. <laughs> In a game I never claimed to be good at. What the hell? Oh, that's the area I'm going to next, yeah. I was like, what are those chests up there? Oh my god, or in Gmod, or like, oh, it was just, it was so much. Like, I was never good at Gang Beasts. Michael was always incredible at it. But it just became this thing of like, oh, Jeremy, he's the Gang Beast guy. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> I never have been. I don't know where this came from. Uh, oh, did I miss one in here? Oh, oh, right, yeah. Yeah, it was just like, and that used to really annoy the hell out of me. Dun, 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 dun. Um, I, I was definitely, in terms of AH, I was definitely good at Dead by Daylight. That one I will accept. That one I, I was good at. By AH standards. By, like, the standards of people who actually play Dead by Daylight, I absolutely was not. Like, I, um, you know, the actual community, Dead by Daylight, like, there's so much, like, thought and process that goes into Dead by Daylight. It's insane. It's, like, it's way beyond me. I like to just play it and fuck around, right? That's why I loved Dead by Daylight is because I would just totally fuck around. But it's like, oh, you gotta run these perks, and then, like, you gotta make sure you use this technique while you're using this perk. That's good for this killer. If it's this killer, make sure you're using this perk. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure you get this on this guy. This guy's gonna be better at this than that person, and then blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, uh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, done. Oh, what? <laughs> Why didn't he do his animate? He didn't swing at me. That blew my mind. You can't be all caked up and also not doing what you're supposed to. You gotta do one or the other. Uh, as soon as games get to that point, I go, all right, I'm out. <laughs> you know, but in a game like uh, in a game like Dead by Daylight, you, unless you have a group of friends that you're all going to play with, you have to do that. You know? You have to do that.
Yeah, you gotta learn it to compete and stuff like that. It's like, ugh. Yeah, that's why, like, I, I do... I, I'm, like, full single-player game. That, that's me. Give me single-player games. If I'm gonna do a multiplayer thing, I wanna only play with my friends. I don't wanna play with random people. That's it. Because, like, yeah, even in, like, a multiplayer game with other people, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna fuck around and have fun. Like, you know other people are gonna get pissed at that, and it's like... And it's like, yeah, who cares? Fuck them. I, I cannot have that mentality. I love that mentality. I love people that do. I, like, respect the hell out of you of being like, fuck it! I'm doing what I wanted to do. What? It's like, I can't have that mentality. I am not capable of it. Unfortunately, I care way too much about what other people think about me and what I'm doing, even if I don't know them. I right, cut that one a little close. Oh, God. Oh, why didn't I jump? See, this is the animation that you can skip. But that's why... That's 100% the reason why... Um, if I'm playing Among Us, and I have a night playing Among Us where I'm not the imposter a single time, I'm like, dude, that was the best Among Us night ever. I fucking love it. I love not being the imposter. Because there is no pressure... Or, like, being the glitch? Awesome. You don't have a partner. You can't let anyone down. You know, no one's gonna be like, you know, God damn it, we were doing whatever and blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, it's, it's fucking awesome. I love it. And if you, like, quote, unquote, let the crew down, well, there was, like, five other crew that also let them down. So, not your fault. Yeah. Friendly neighborhood hacker man. Because, like, that's the thing. If someone doesn't... If, if, if I start going around hacking people and people learn on the glitch, I will not let myself win. I'll vote myself every fucking time. Because I'm like, I'm not going to be like, I won as the glitch when, like, five people knew I was the glitch. You know what I mean? I vote myself every time. And if someone rats me out as the glitch after I hack them, I'm like, whatever. Oh, God, did I just fuck that up? Oh. <sighs> I, I wasn't paying attention. I was talking about Among Us. Whoopsie! Oh man, how do I... I forget how to get him back to... I might just have to get him later. Fuck. That was a, that was a bad one. Oops. Man, I am like... I'm forgetting every... I'm not paying attention right now. That's the problem. There's a way to do a bunch of things here, and I've done them all wrong. Yeah, in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you can duplicate anything that a Pokemon can hold. So, you can't duplicate Herba Mysticas. Which is a shame, but probably for the best, because then it would make raids, like, nearly 
worthless. You know what I mean? So this is the level where I'm going to need to change my frame rate at one point. Because um, otherwise something won't work. I might have to do it at two points. Nope. Almost went for it. And I went, I'm not going to make it in time. So if I leave my frame rate on 60, right, this doorway that I have to go through now, right here, that will never open. That will never open. But if I go to graphics and I make this 30, there it goes. And then we go back to 60. Don't know why. Don't know why. And and also, this guy is supposed to raise and lower this platform, but that doesn't happen either. On 60. I, I, I don't know why. This game has some real frame issues. So there's that one, and then, like I said, if you're on uh, unlimited frames, then... Um, there's a lot of times your uh, spiral was just run in place. It's like you're it's like you're on ice. He'll like Scooby Doo run out of places. Like he'll have to wind up. Uh, Major Foley, thank you for gifting his sub. Almost didn't make that jump. You also, um, playing the Reignited Trilogy, if you're only used to playing the original, you have to really get used to, uh, charge jumping. Like, in the original, you definitely didn't need to worry as much. This, this, uh, Egg Thief is a real pain to catch. You didn't really need to worry about charge jumping very much. Um, you could just, like, jump and glide and get to pretty much anywhere. Um... But in the Reignited Trilogy, you, like, really need to, uh, like, charge and then jump while you're in the air. Oh, this, this Egg Thief is really tough. But they programmed it in that the longer you chase them, the slower they get. So, like, you will eventually catch them. Dude, come on. Ugh, this fucking guy. That's the one that will take the longest. Of all the egg thieves. You didn't realize I did some speed running? I don't. <laughs> yeah, I have to go back for this egg thief now. Unfortunately, because I didn't get him at the beginning. You are kidding me! Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go back for him again! Because that fucking guy just hit me! Oh my god, I'm having so much trouble with that guy. Oh, That Egg Thief is really testing my patience. Ugh.
That sucks. I, I just didn't line up my hitbox correctly. So I thought I rammed that guy, but I didn't. I thought I just caught the edge of him. Because I didn't want to run right into him because so that can slow you down a little bit. Or their corpse will go flying in front of you and you can like hit that sometimes. So I try to just graze them so they go off to the side. And they don't slow me down. But like, I just missed the hitbox there so he, he nailed it. I mean, yeah, you can catch the Titan Pokemon, but I, I don't really see the reason. I mean, you can if you want them. It's a little extra thing you can do. They get a little badge. That thing really curved to get me. Holy shit. Okay. All right, let's... Fucking rain this in here. Yeah, it's the title thing. I haven't really... That's one of the things in Pokemon I haven't really touched on. The titles and marks. It's not like... like I, I, I saw someone say like, Ooh, are any of your shinies marked? I'm like, I don't know what that means. I'm like... <laughs> Lot of treasure. I can't believe I have to go back for that freaking egg thief again. It's so annoying. I swear if I miss him a third time, I'm canceling the stream. Dude, she wants the Dragon D. You can tell. You can just tell. She's got that bad dragon going on, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I in fact do not know what you're saying. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Freaking egg thieves. I'm, I'm so happy there's no egg thieves after Magic Crafters. Oh. God. Bam, 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 bam. All right, here we go. 
Jeremy versus the Seg Thief. Dude! I'm ending the stream. I don't know what to do. How do I get him? What if... I... Dude, I don't know how to get him now. Because I only know how to get him from that one angle. And because I... Like, I wasn't paying attention at the beginning. I don't know how to get him from another angle. I think I have to do this. It's going to take forever, but... Yep, that's it. Stream's over. I think I have to travel here and then travel back and hope it puts me at the beginning. Please put me where you enter the map. Like, the balloon. Yes! Okay. Like, see, I just, without that head start, I don't know how to do that one. Because I've never missed him before, so I just wasn't prepared to figure out how to get him. That took a little bit, but you know what? It's okay. Not worried about it. Yeah, the subs are very close to 9k. This is also an old dragon. Uh, this portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember. Do I hate Dark Souls? Uh, have never played it. Never, ever, ever want to play it. It seems like the least fun I could ever have in a game. Uh, which is why the subs are set so high for it. <laughs> kind of goes off of my conversation earlier about how I play games to relax and chill out. Oh, uh, I, I absolutely just wait there because it makes this plane kind of line up with a better spot. If you go immediately, then that plane and the first gate are kind of in a weird spot, and it's kind of hard to get them both. It's been a Binding of Isaac card game for a while. Four Souls? Is that what it's called? See, I've seen a lot of people say Dark Souls really isn't that bad. And I, I don't I I feel like I need to hear that from someone who doesn't love Dark Souls. You know what I mean? From like a typical Like because I feel like the people who say that are the people who really like Dark Souls. So I should give it an, a, a go and report back? Yeah. Y yes. Just a typical casual gamer like me. You 
doesn't like to play super difficult games, doesn't like to retry things over and over and over again. I want someone who's like me with games to tell me, you know what? I tried it. Not that bad. Then I'll go. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Because to me, all it looks like is agony. Like, on the outside looking at it and people playing it, it looks like agony. And I, I've told people before, I think the appeal for a lot of people with Dark Souls is like, oh, it's this like hard thing and you struggle and struggle and then you finally do it. You get that elation. You get that feeling of like, I did it. I overcame the really difficult thing. I don't, I don't get that. I don't, I don't get that feeling. I, I'm jealous of people who do, but I don't get that. I get the feeling of, wow, I just wasted however many hours to playing the same part of a game over and over again. Like, instead of feeling like, oh, I did it. I feel like, oh, I wish I was dead. Yeah, like, thank God that's over. Like, that's not the that's not the feeling I ever want to have with a video game. Thank God I'm done playing this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I didn't jump. Oh, no. I, I hate retrying combat things. I hate clearing air. That's the other thing. It's like, oh, you can, you can rest at a bonfire, but all the enemies you killed come back. You gotta kill them all again. It's like, oh, fuck me. That sounds miserable. Like, Jesus. Am I gonna play Yakuza? I don't know. People have asked me to play it. I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. We'll see. It definitely seems like an interesting game. Or a game series. That's it, right? For the eggs? Oh, thank God. Okay. Hey -o. See ya. I mean, it looks very fun. It looks very fun. Uh, do I have a game of the year for 2020? I mean, it might be God of War. God of War was so good. Like, Ragnarok was fucking so much fun. It's probably Ragnarok. I did play Jedi Fallen Order. Didn't finish it. Because I, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy resting, and then all the enemies came back, and I had to fight all of them again. I just felt like I was doing the same shit over and over and over. It's like, I've already killed this giant frog thing. I don't want to kill it again. It's like, but I was fucking hurt, so I needed to rest and get my health back. So I could fight this other giant frog thing. Hey, 
Hey, come here. Take that, blowhard. That is indeed the name of this boss. Blowhard. What the hell? I don't know what happened there, but that almost resulted in my death. Come here. <laughs> he was in a good position there. No, 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 no. Thank you. Hop up. Would you like to go? Hey, oh. There we go. Down, 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 down. Oh, yeah, that's another reason that. I won't play any of the Souls game on stream unless we hit 15,000 subs. Concurrence. I will literally set it back to like 6,500 or what we're, whatever we're at. Trust me. I'm doing everything to make sure it doesn't happen. Um, but like if someone wants it that bad, I will do it. But like, yeah, the it's not just like the fact that I know I won't like the game. But God, that community is awful. Because, like, like, yeah, it would have to be an emote only. It would have to be an emote only the whole time. Erico, think of the 200 bits. Um, I would have, yeah, I'd have to have it an emote only the entire time. It's super gatekeepy. I mean, they're the ones who started Get Good, right? Of people being like, this is fucking hard as shit. Like, what, what do I do? Like, how, and they're like, Get Good. And people are like, oh, what if, uh, like, isn't there any kind of, like, easier mode, like, for people who kind of want to enjoy, like, the world of it and stuff, but, like, you know, like, kind of accessibility stuff, and people are like, accessibility stuff? This game isn't for you. All right? It's not for you, then. Stay away from my game. It's like, all right. Okay, cool. It's like, all right, yeah. Uh, let's see, is that it? Yeah, there it is. I was like, it's over here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, the, the two communities that I've seen that are really, really like that. I mean, and this, and I'm sure there are more that I just, you know, aren't in a lot. Um, are the Dark Souls community and the Sea of Thieves community is like that as well. Of people going, hey, I really like Sea of Thieves, um, but, like, is there an option where we can just kind of sail around and, like, you know, in a private lobby and have fun and just, like, do the adventures with friends and not worry about other ships rolling up? And they're like, um, sorry, sounds like you want Sea of Friends, which is not what this game is called, so... Like, okay, cool. Cool, sweet. Sweet discourse, bro. If there were private lobbies, they would be spitting in the face 
of all the people like me that earned my cosmetic red sales the hard way. And then a bunch of people did it the easy way. How will I get bitches now? How? <laughs> How? Like, because literally, Sea of Thieves, Kat and I were playing it, and we were loving it, because, like, you know, Kat and I don't have a ton of games that we, like, play together. You know? Like, just sit there and enjoy the night, like, a relaxing night. And, um... And we were playing Sea of Thieves, and it was a lot of fun. Like, Kat and I just, like, running a ship together and just, like, enjoying the night. The two of us, just husband and wife on the ship, just, like, joking, playing with the little cats in the game. Like, oh, let's go do this mission. Let's go do this one. And then, like... And then there was one night where we just couldn't, we couldn't do anything. We would like, it, it like, we were basically being like hunted the whole game. And I was like, all right, well. And like, there was this like sadness in Kat's eyes when we were like, yeah, I guess we can't play this together anymore. Like we were really having fun and it's like, oh. All right, well, I guess we'll find, I guess we'll just find a different game. <laughs> it's like, damn. It's like having so much fun playing that game with Cat. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? You're like, you wish they had non-PVP things, but like anytime you bring up that idea or anyone brings that up, up that idea, the community fucking loses it. They're like, it's not for you then. Find a different game. This is our game. You just gotta get good at ship, co uh, ship combat. If they got rid of, if they got rid of that, dead game. Dead game, if they got rid of it. It's like, no, I actually think their user base would like skyrocket but you know maybe that's just me <laughs> yeah pve lobbies i I'd, I'd be streaming it all the time different pirate groups I, I'd be I'd be all over it oh PvE is better than PvP in every sense in my opinion I know that 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 is a full-on different strokes for different folks thing In the same way that, like, in Pokemon, I love XP all, but there's people like, I wish there was an option to turn that off. And I'm like, yeah, that would be cool if there was an option to turn it off for the people who don't like it. Like, I'll leave it on. I love it. But, like, for the people that want that grind... This room is such a fucking pain. Hey, to only get hit once in that room, I'll take it. Oops. Oh, well, fucked that up. Uh, I might die. I'm gonna die. I bumped the wall. <laughs> I think it reloads quick, though. I bumped the wall again. What is that little... There's a little invisible wall there I don't remember. Oh, 
Oh, I was really hoping you would kill this frog. Whoa! At least these actually look like hogs in this game. In the original, they just look like pink, awful monsters. This guy's, this guy's hot, I think. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them. Sp yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Guys, please stop thirsting over the dragons. Thank you. Please, this is a family stream. I'm missing gems somewhere, and it pains me. Oh, I'm missing... Yeah, this is my Christian Spyro speedrun. Dragging me to hell. Thank you for the 500 bits. There's a couple of gems that are like that, that just like, Sparks doesn't get them. I don't know what he's got against certain gems, but he's got something against some of them. You know what game I do want to play again though? Um, and it's only because I've been watching a lot of Platy's YouTube content lately. I don't know. I just, I, I like, I like having Platy's content. I think it's like really chill to have it on in like the background while I'm doing shit. Cause like, oh, he's just got a very chill voice to like have on in the background. And, um, he, uh, I kind of want to play Phasmophobia again. I saw him playing it with like Cruz and Tay and like, but God damn, he, he knows what the fuck he's doing in that game. Did I not get that chest? I didn't. There we go. Uh, Four Warner is really fun. I I played that with Raven, a couple of times. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to play to uh, play Phasmo again. Like, they've added so much. But like, watching Platy play that, like seriously, the next like the next time he's streaming Phasmophobia, watch him do it. It's crazy the amount of stuff he knows. And that like, the strats they do, like they load up stuff at the front door so they don't have to keep going back to the truck, and then like. He'll go in a room and he'll like 
you know, they'll find where the ghost is and they know to t only turn on a certain number of lights because otherwise it will blow the generator and then like when they find the location of the ghost, it's like, okay, you, like, you put down a bunch of salt, you put down the dots thing, put down a camera on the side of the room, look at the dots thing, EMF reader, like, right next to it, put down, like, the spirit box, turn the light off, talk to it, it said something, turn it off so it doesn't make noise, put down the book, say these certain things, but it's like, holy shit! It, it's just, it's nuts. Oh, speaking of nuts, welcome to Treetops. So this level is infamous. For how confusing and just all over the place. Whoopsie. Can I have a free nanner? Want to see something fun? All right. Um, so this is the level where I will tactically jump off the map every so often. So basically, by releasing that dragon right there, I made a checkpoint. And we're gonna... Oops. We're gonna checkpoint... Uh, we're gonna go back to that a couple of times. So... First thing we're gonna do is come over here like once we clear off that island and then we're going to break this okay and over here this is the end of the level technically all right we're gonna get all the gems here and we're gonna go off tactical suicide all right and so then We'll get back to this. Then we can do this first run here. Which is onto there. Over here. Onto this. To the right. Onto this. Up. Onto this. And then off of this. And glide. That's how to get to this place. Uh... Okay, so, like, because we released that dragon, we don't have that checkpoint anymore, but that's fine, because we don't need to go back to that one anymore. So, we'll go over here. And then we gotta do another one, basically. So, we'll go here. Onto here. Here. Alright, and we're gonna set another checkpoint here. Oh, you bitch. I honestly forgot if that was a big dude or a little dude up here. Couldn't remember. Okay. Here. Okay. So we've set another checkpoint. So what we're going to do now... Let's come up here. We're going to break this. Kill him. These. Okay. Alright, this area is all cleared out. Off we go. Sean Paul, welcome back for your 10th month. Okay, and here we go. Run down here. Off to the right. Onto this. Run all the way around this. Off of here, down this, up, and here we are. Alright, and that should be it. If I didn't miss anything, we're good. Okay. And there's treetops. <laughs> treetops is, yeah, a treetops is, is kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying. Ouch. Okay. So we just have 
Metalhead, and then that's it for Beast Makers. That was risky. Uh, I didn't get that gem. Thank you. Now, I believe if I talk to this guy, it will activate the Whirlwind right there. Good. That's what I want. Here. Hopefully this should be all the gems. Oh, it's not. Crap. We missed a gem somewhere. Alright, let me... I gotta... Oh. Oh, thank you. Woo! Woo! Got nervous. I was gonna have to, like, go far back. I mean, the whole level's a circle, so it's not that bad, but still. Prefer not to if I can. Alright, so this is Metalhead. This is the boss for this world. The boss. Most bosses... It's the only boss that's, like, different. Most bosses in Spyro... Spyro 1, anyways, are just, um... Flame them three times. Uh, not the way, like, Cat did earlier to me in chat, but, like, you know, breathe fire on them three times. This is the only boss that's, that breaks that formula. And you will see when we get there. Oops. Holy shit. Oh. I gotta find where that guy's gem went. <laughs> Well, hopefully it it warped to me. It usually does. I probably got the gem from that guy. Stop it. Alright, so... Now we get to, like, the hidden part of this level, which is down here. Go grab the key. And then jump up over here. Uh yeah, it looks like it warped to me. Yeah, we're good. We should be good. Okay. Now for the boss. So, instead of flaming this guy three times, he has a bunch of towers all around the map that are charging him up. And you need to you need to break the towers while they're green. And that's how to beat him. So, these towers, they will, like, periodically change from red to green. So, and, like, he'll break them. So, you can kind of get him to break them, too. And you just have to do that twice. So if one of them's red and you're waiting on it, you can like position yourself where he'll shoot and break it. That gem right there, that will that will trick you every time, that red gem in the grass. It's one of the ones that Sparks won't pick up. And like, it's really tucked in the grass. I think he just broke one. Ooh, he got me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Release me. Okay. There we go. Alright. I don't think he threw anyone at me. If he throws people at you, you gotta go get the gem that they drop. The first couple drop gems. But we will see. Yeah, they're doing monkeys today. Um, Vic invited me, but I, I, I think I forgot to get back to him too, because I'm an awful person like that. 
and I just never fucking get back to people. Speaking of which, I should I should respond to pasta. Fuck. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Fuck. So he wants to he wants to stream that at three thirty. No, 4.30, and then they want to stream this at 7. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. We'll see. Alright. Dreamweavers is a hell of a world. The maps here are, they're really something. They all have a little gimmick. They have a little like, most of them have like a little transformation gimmick. So, well, it's not always transformation, but. Are quick balls still the way to go in Pokemon? I mean, it's always worth a shot. So the gimmick on this map is these little guys, the dogs and the turtles, they transform into big giant monsters in the dark. Now the fools have lanterns um, and they periodically turn them off and on. If you attack the fools, then they will like turn into the lantern. So they'll like stay on. Um, the, the transformed dogs, the big red dogs, Clifford, um, those, hold on, I, I gotta make sure of something first. Okay, there's a green gem that Sparks doesn't pick up in that hall, or it might be this hall. Yeah, it's that one behind the dog. I gotta make sure I get that. Um, these guys you can kill. The big red dogs. Uh, you can kill them. Like this, see? The turtles, you can't. When the turtles are big, they're invincible. So, so like now, I can't go over there. I have to wait for the fool to do that. Okay. Because, you know, the whole... The whole gimmick with Spyro is like, big enemies, you can't charge them. Enemies that are metal, you can't flame them. So if they're big and made of metal, they're invincible. You need to find some other way to kill them. There's only a few enemies like that. There's another uh, world in Dreamweavers that also has enemies like that. They have big suits of armor. Oh my god, Sparks, please. Focus. I know you're hungry, but focus. So, like, these guys are invincible, and, this, and that fool will never... Oh god. He'll never light that lantern. You have to flame that one. You have to run through them and... And hit that fool. Otherwise, you cannot get by that area. Sparks. When it wouldn't metal burn. I mean, yeah. It would. Uh one of the things they fixed in the trilogy, or in the reignited trilogy, is this little area down here. See how that's floor down there? In the original game, um that had the texture of lava, basically. You know, the goop in this world that you can't stand on. 
but you could still walk on it. And it was like one of the only spots where that happened. Um, but then they retextured it in the Reignite Trilogy to be floor. So it actually made sense that you could be on it. A little more spiral knowledge for you there. Uh, Captain Hauser, welcome back for your 17th month. Much appreciated. Uh, Emma streams. Thank you for continuing your gifted sub. Appreciate that. Oh, there's an area up here that drove me nuts. Because basically in Spyro, there's a bunch of skill points that they added in the Reignited Trilogy that weren't there before. They're like, find hidden items. It's like, like, charge the hidden stump or something. You know, like, there's all these things. And there was one in this world that I could not find. Matt eventually found it when the game first came out. There's a hidden room in this home world that I couldn't find for the longest time. Oh, a man streams. Sorry, is that what it's supposed to be? Got it, got it, got it, got it. Sorry. What's the point of skill points? To give you an extra life if you do them. They're basically just free extra lives. Oh, I thought that was a different thing. Uh, these enemies, by the way, these ones right here are called Puffer Birds. That's the name of those enemies. And I know that, and I worked that into the Spyro rap that I did for JT Music. A dragon attack, uh, it's like a dragon. It says like fighting off attack frogs and puffer birds or something like that. Um, oh, so the gimmick on this map, right, is you gotta release these fairies. Once you release three, they create a whirlwind. But yeah, puffer birds. Alright. This area is kind of tough to do in one go. Hopefully I can do it if I time it right. Hey! like the spiral rap nice he's just a little dragon now one day he'll take off from the ground you'll meet no flyer guy around he's got an awesome tail even if he's small in scale i can punch his mouth for pound so line him up and burn him down Got a story to be told in an anthem. Nasty blast and off attacks flew. He's throwing a tantrum in one fast sweep. All the dragons to see got locked up and stocked up for him to keep. And so. Ooh. Oh gosh. No one will care, but that pop up chest right there where the gem pops up and it was red. Uh, that's the only one in the entire game. That's the only. Uh, pop-up chest with a red gem in it. In the whole game. Mm. Oh my god, please don't tell me that was a gem I just saw. 
Okay. I, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I missed that. Alright, I'll get you later. This dragon's got a... I'll, I'll show you in a sec, but that dragon is packing. Is packing heat. All right. And I know what you're. I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, Jeremy Bonk. Wait till you see it. I did miss a gem over there. Hang on. I thought I did. Give me that. Thank you for releasing me. Okay. So don't go blaming me, all right? Thank you for releasing me. That's what he says every time he takes off his pants, you know? That dragon. Well, oh, okay. I didn't know if that one was gonna it was gonna hop up. Okay. Oh my god, that'd be a great idea. If I was ever gonna get a like penile tattoo, I would get a crystal dragon. So that way, every time, like, right before sex, I'd be like, Thank you for releasing me! And then I- and then I would not be having sex anymore. And then all plans would be cancelled. Uh, all right, let's see. <laughs> Do you think that hurts really bad? I think that's like super painful. Oh, by the way, here's the hidden room. It's through this wall. Isn't that insane? Yeah, right? Because that's what I'm thinking, right? There's, like, it's... Tattoos hurt when there's, like, bone near it, you know? If it's just muscle, it doesn't really hurt that bad. Well, no, you know what? Tattoos also really hurt, though, if the skin is thin. Like, like, the uh, tattoo on, like, my inner bicep, like, when they were getting into that area, that hurt. So, probably would hurt. Because it's not super thick skin. So, yeah, it probably would hurt. Yeah, I guess it really just... Uh, you know what? Near the bone probably doesn't hurt... Uh, no. I was gonna say, probably doesn't hurt as much, but it does hurt. Hmm. Because it has to do with nerve endings and stuff, right? So then why would a tattoo near the bone hurt more? I never really thought about this. You would think there would be less nerve endings. Huh.
Oh. Sub bomb Ooh, incoming. tech boy. Think of the five sub sub bomb. Vibrations against the bone. Hmm. Ah, that's an, that's interesting. Um, I'll I'll do I'll do this level at the end. <laughs> Fucking Jacques. Um. So, uh, man, yeah, it sounds miserable. It sounds miserable. I won't be doing it. That sounds awful. <clears throat> Not to mention to do it properly, you probably have to like, you probably have to be like bricked up while getting it, right? Otherwise, how are they gonna, how are they gonna know the dimensions and stuff? And then if like, if there's just pain down there, then that's not gonna be easy to do. I just Googled it, you have to be soft the whole time. Oh! Uh. And they're just like stretching it and, te oh man, that sounds, that sounds awful. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I will not be doing that. Mom, if you're here, I'm sorry. But it's just, I, it's just, I have to wonder these things, you know? Ow! Ugh! She, uh, I mean, my mom's used to me, but, um, she's probably already not thrilled because I did say I wanted to get another tattoo. And, you know, she's obviously not the biggest fan of tattoos because she's a mom. Um. Ooh! <clears throat> Excuse me. Something in my throat. Oh, man, if Kat got me sick, I'm going to be, I'm going to have words for her. Um. <clears throat> But, um, I do want another tattoo. I want another tattoo. I don't know where yet, but, uh, my cousin who passed away recently, she was in a band, and the band was called Gay Uncle with a Shotgun. That was the name of the band. Uh, and it had a really cool logo, and I might want to get that logo. Oh crap. I missed uh, that suit of armor, but I'll get it after. I'm not worried about it. I always miss gems back there. It looks like I didn't. Okay. Uh, it was very... Uh, it was very bittersweet being at, uh, my cousin's wake, because she's the exact same age as me. It was, like, a month apart, her and I. But, like, I saw a bunch of people from, like, high school that I haven't seen in years. I actually saw, um, <clears throat> my, like, I talked about it before with my books that I wrote, Go Nitro, um, that... The Nitros, as a group, were originally, like, just what me and my friends called, like, our club of friends. And, um, the guy who was the original Atomic, Diego, in the story, um, he was, he was there. My friend Krishna, he was, uh, and I was like, I haven't seen you in forever. Uh, 
Okay. The Golden Fairy! I now have permanent super flame! <laughs> You're all fucked! Yeah, Spyro's wearing some sunglasses. I might have that cheat code on. Because, I mean, you know, why the hell not? Sorry, fairy in that room. You don't get any of this Spyro sugar. What's my favorite of the trilogy? Probably the second one. The first one just doesn't have enough going on. And the third one, at points, feels too long. There's moments in the third one that get pretty tedious. I did see the new crumble. I don't know if I'm going to go for any of them this week. Okay, so we just got the boss. Nice. Okay, we just got the boss and then this world is done. And then we're off to um, the final world. And then that will be it for game number one. And we'll take like a quick break. Just kind of like stretch out a little bit. And then jump right into the second one. Now, like, the first one goes by really fast. Because, like I said, there's not a whole lot going on with it. The second one is significantly longer. And then the third one is a whole different animal. The third one is long. <laughs> the third game is not a short one. I'll tell you that much. Ouch. Damn. I'll get it later. Ow! Okay. This level is like so you 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 got the gimmick. You can see the gimmick of this level, right? It's you know, kill these guys and then get on the platform that they affect before, you know, they pop back up. So that first fool I I flame back there, he lowers this platform. So you had to like get him first and then get the other one and then that's how you get over here. Okay. 
I know, um, Matt can't fucking stand watching me play this game. <laughs> I was just thinking that, because he gets so pissed every time I don't pick up an extra life. Like, there's those extra life chests, and anytime I'm, like, right next to the, the end of the level, and I exit from the menu, rather than go through the exit portal. He's like, it's right there! It's right there! I'm like, yeah, but this is, like, slightly quicker. He's like, that's an extra life, you're just ignoring it. I'm like, yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> Oops. Fucking hell. Hey, <laughs> you don't need lives when you've got speed on your side. Demon. Demon Jack in the box, this guy. We're done with Dream Weaver. Ah! We're done with Dream Weavers. Well, yes. Are you ready to go? All right. On to Nasty's world. Last one you knew of was Brilliant Stars. How many have you missed? Two? Silver Tempest is the newest one. Astral, uh, three. Astral Radiance, Lost Origin, Silver Tempest. I think technically the Pokemon Go set as well. Was after Brilliant Stars, I think. Nope, I don't. Just give me these. Thank you. Now, this will trick me up every time. You have to go through the end portals in these. Any pack debt? Uh, not pack debt, but I need to open these at the end of the stream. These are from last stream. There was a fuck ton of gifted subs, mostly because I was miserable and pathetic. Um, but there was also, like, a big sub bomb at one point during the stream and stuff like that. So, we, we have a lot of packs to open, and we will. Yeah. Oh, my God. Jesus. Captain Hauser, thank you for the 1551 rockin' bits. Thank you. Oh, that just didn't time very well. Um, so. You have to go through the end portals in these levels, or uh, the next one won't open up. And I've done that. Several times. I'm like just not paying attention. I leave from the menu. And it's like, oh, well, that's it. Oh! 
Oh, 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 oh,
But I mean, I was definitely, I was definitely spoiled as a kid. Like, you know, I was fortunate enough that, you know, my parents, like, financially are in a, in a good spot. So, like, you know, I went on, like, a lot of vacations with my parents. Like, we traveled. Not, not a ton, but, like, you know, a, a decent amount. We still would, like, even if it was just to, like, Maine, you know, to Old Orchard Beach in Maine for, you know, a weekend. It was still something. So, yeah, I was pretty, you know, I was pretty spoiled. Yeah, but now it's my job to play video games. Well, he says it all the time. He loves to say that to me now. He's like, you know, I told you. I told you you would never get a job playing video games. Boy, was I stupid. Like, you know, like, all the time. <laughs> I am not an only child. I have an older sister. To his credit, at the time it was unthinkable. Oh, yeah. I mean, and God, it annoyed the crap out of him, because my dad was a very light sleeper. Like, insanely light sleeper. My my bedroom was above his. Like, my bedroom was above my parents' room. And at night, he could hear me typing. If I was typing on my keyboard, like on my laptop, he could hear it. You know, and like And he went and he went to bed at like nine. So, it was always like, oh, God. But, um... But... So, I used to, you know, when I was in high school... I used to, like, once I... Once I could drive... You know, I'd go to... So, I'd go to high school, and then I'd go to work. And I'd get out of work at, like... Uh... Basically, my days were like, go to high school, get out of high school, do my homework, go to work, work, and then after that, I would just go to my friend's house, and we'd play video games, and we'd play until like 4 a.m. or something, and then, I'd, and then I'd drive home, and I'd like have to really try to like sneak into my house like super... And, like, the thing is that the freaking, like, I'd try to sneak in through my garage and, like, go up the stairs and stuff. But it was, like, it was so loud. Like, the door was, like, and then, like, you know, wood floors, like, creaking. Like, I'm, like, trying to be really, I'm, like, I'm, like fucking shut up, shut up. Hiding the PS1 in Sega noises must have been... Well, it wasn't that tough because... Um, when I was young, uh, I was not allowed to have... Uh, a TV or video games in my bedroom. That just... Was not allowed. <laughs> Did I just not sleep? I... I didn't sleep a lot. Um... I... Ran off of energy drinks and... I'd fall asleep in class quite a few times. But, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get a ton of sleep. There's actually some towers here. Uh, see these, like, platform-looking towers here? Right, like, in front of me there? That was from a cut, uh, 
version of this fight where he would jump on these towers. And they, they ended up cutting that bit of the fight. But that was going to be the thing. It was going to be like a second phase. That's why you only you only need to flame Nasty Nork twice. As opposed to three times like all the other bosses. Because it was going to be a three stage fight. Yeah, it's nice that they left them in, right? Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. What? The gate will only open if you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. It will only open? You have reached Oh, come back when you've reached 100%. Oh, it's open. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I I I I did not sleep a lot when I was young. I mean, I and I've talked about this before, but you know, I had a job obviously not full time uh, but I had a job ever since I was 14 I think no 14 was like my first job job um I don't know how old you are when you're in 6th grade or not 6th grade 7th grade that's when I had my first job when I was in 7th grade Um, so I, in seventh grade, I worked as a, uh, assistant karate instructor. And then, uh, when I was 14, I worked at a Brigham's ice cream. So I was like a, you know, counter clerk or whatever. And, um... And I did that until I was... And then did I do... Wait, sir? I... Hmm. At some point... I don't remember what order. At some point I worked at Pottery Barn as a stock worker. So, like, you know, they would call me on the radio and be like, Jeremy, do we have whatever? And I'd, like, climb up whatever shelves and... Be like, in what color? And be like, oh, in the cherry wood color. And I'd look and be like, yeah, we got two in stock. And they'd be like, all right, can you wheel it out to the elevator and put it in their car? And, you know, like that was... Like, so that's what I did. And then, uh, then I was, you know, I did that for a while. I was a waiter at on the border for a couple of years, then I was a waiter at a macaroni grill for a couple of years, then I was, uh, then I went back to on the border, um, but not as a waiter, as a, um, just as a food runner, so I just take the food from the kitchen, you know, out to the tables, um, because I just was already sick of dealing with people. Um, then I did an internship with, like, this company that I don't think ever went anywhere um but basically I like ran their live streams for them it was like a review company like a game review company or something and I'd like make all their animations for them and ran their live stream and the the live stream it was cool because they had a really nice space it was um the live stream space was in um, the, it was a bit of the Microsoft store in the Prudential Center in Boston. So if you're ever, ever in Boston, there's this big square building, uh, called the Prudential Center. It's, like, very noticeable. It's, like, 
a bunch of glass on it. And it the Prue, they call it. Um, and like, so I ran the live streams out of there. There was a very funny thing one time where I was showing, I was reviewing the, um, because I, I was, I was hosting one th a review on uh, the Deadpool game that had just come out. And I was like reviewing the game. And at one point I was like showing something, like they were calling for something. They were like, hey, can we pull up like blah, 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 or whatever. So I went on Facebook and I was like showing something, some image or whatever. And for some reason there was an ad on the side for like sperm donations, like during a live stream. And we were all just like cracking up. It was just so funny. All right. That's it. That's it. Time. Spiral one. Done and done. All right, let's see. 120%. <laughs> Woo! All right. Ready? Spiral two. We're off. Um. So, yeah, I, Project Winter, when I, I played that with Chilled and them, and I messaged Chilled after it, and I was like, you, you know, you don't have to invite me to those anymore. <laughs> That's why, like, I'm never in those Project Winter groups, like, when Chilled's running them. I literally told him, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Um, it like, I don't know. I feel like I jumped in and like people were already like really good at it, right? Like knew all the strategies, knew how to like do everything, hide certain things, do it like, and then I, uh, I think I was a bad guy or something. And... And, uh, like, got found out, like, right away. Because, like, you, when you down somebody... Ooh, should I try this skip here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this, like, a couple of times. I'm not gonna do this forever, but we're gonna just try it. There's a, you can do... Oh! No! That first part's the hardest part. I can't believe I did that. Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe I did that that fast. Holy crap. Oh, but crap. Whoa, this isn't on yet! Why'd I do that? <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did such a hard thing, but I can't even do it yet! God damn it. <laughs> Oops. Here, let's I'm gonna try to do it now. I'm gonna try now I'm not gonna be able to do it again. Now now I'm not gonna be able to do it. Okay, oh Oh my god! I'm I'm fucking I'm cracked! Now, I don't even have to pay money bags if I don't want to. I literally could could not pay money bags. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> Direct from Orzam or welcome back to your 21st month. Like, you're supposed to pay money bags to extend that bridge right there. Ooh. 
Who needs that? Couldn't be me. Did I say that wrong? Or it's, I don't know. I don't know what that is. People are like, your username's awesome. I. Sorry, I don't understand the reference. That's on me. And I know that's on me. Oh, it's from Dragon Age. That would be. That would be why. I played a little bit of Dragon Age Origins, the first one. And I was like, okay, this is not for me. Um, I should play Inquisition at some point. Because it looks like I would like that game. Ow. But yeah, the um, origin, like, just the gameplay of it was not for me. The the combat style and everything. Oops. I have to be extra careful that I get all the gems in this area if I don't want to pay money bags. Oh! Thank you. I might have to pay money bags just to make my life. Oh no, I should be good. No, I won't be. Fuck, I'll, I'll have to do the glitch again. Like, or not the glitch, but I'll have to do that jump again. I might just pay him. <laughs> it was cool, it was cool that I did that skip, but yeah, I, I, I'll probably just pay him. I, I don't need to avoid paying a hundred gems. Oh! Wait, where is he? Oh my god, dude. Take your fucking time. No, I don't need to try to jump again. I Honestly, the jump is just so I don't have to use that ladder. It's not to avoid paying money bags. It's 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 to avoid having to come back to this level after you learn to climb. That's why. Like Oh, damn it. Like in a run where you're doing 100%, um there's no reason to do that. Like, if I wasn't doing a 100% run, um, I... Avoiding this would be good, right? But... Because, like, I can save those gems and spend them on something I need to spend them on later, but, like... Like, there's there's really no need to do that now. I, I did every... I fully completed this level. That's what I needed to be done. Rave Rapture, welcome back for your third month. But now you aren't able to get enough gems to learn to swim before doing another level? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. I just do the, uh, y the Yeti level. Uh, Colossus. You do Colossus first. And then... 
Uh, and then you do, then you learn to swim because you'll have enough gems after that. And then you do the tiki one after that. Don't worry, we got it. We're fine. Everything's fine. Ah, you'd have to do them all anyways. So, uh, is there not any gems on this side? I guess not. Uh, one of my favorite things as a kid was the frogs in Spyro. They would like croak, croak, and then they'd do like a big one. They'd be like ribbit, ribbit, and then they go. But if you were standing like right near them, after they did like the, their eyes would like pop out and they'd stare at you. They'd be like, oh, they get like this, oh shit face. And I just loved doing that as a kid. Nice. Ow, dude. Okay. <laughs> that orb over there. Hang on. Uh, something's gone odd. I think my computer just crashed. I'm like, yeah, I'm totally locked up. Control Alt Delete, no. Menu, no. Yeah. All right, let's restart the computer. Um, we'll just get back to where we were. There we go. Um, a <laughs> money bags wants his money. That's weird. A mic's going to mute once the Go XLR starts up again. There we go. I shouldn't ponder the orb. You're right. That's on me. I'm- Stop it, Steam VR! What the fuck? This isn't a VR game, it's Spyro! Berber81, welcome back for your 23rd month. Alright, let's see where we are. Let's see where it's saved. Uh, and we'll just run around and get everything that we got. Oh, all right. We just got to redo this, get back to where we were. I 
I mean, unfortunately, I can't guarantee that, like, I don't miss a gem that I didn't miss last time, or, like, I missed a gem last time that I didn't this time. You know what I mean? So, oh well. We won't, we won't be able to submit this run. What about the timer? I'm getting back to where, I, you know the part where I was like, let me get back to where I was. Remember that? Remember that part? Or no? No? The timer? We're gonna keep yelling the timer? Are we just gonna keep yelling it? How many, uh, how many people are gonna go for it now? Timer? Let's just keep screaming timer. I don't think I got those chests. So we're not gonna do that. All right, I think that's all I got. I got this one. I think that's all I did. Okay, we did this. Okay, no. Then we went over here. And then he jumped across. We were right here, okay. And there we go. What? Wow, a timer. God. That chat, I'll be honest, that was one of the most annoying things you've done in a while. <laughs> You've done a few. That one was up there. Music in this, uh, the music in this world is a bop. They don't do it, so I have to do it. Legally obligated, I am. Absolutely legally obligated to make that noise. I think they changed I forget what he says now, but he used to say, even though I'm a pacifist, or like a vegetarian maybe, he goes, I think you should kill that yeti. I don't know if he still says kill. All right, hockey time. Why have a door when you can chant like this? Why are you? Why are you? All right. Ugh. Did 
Dude, nice jersey. Good colors. <laughs> That's it. I'm getting me mallet. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. Sidearms didn't even notice I was in his stream last night watching him beat the Elite Four. But it's one of the only things I wrote in his chat is he took out Tinkaton to fight something, and I wrote, "That's it. I'm getting me mallet." Oh, crap. I gotta get a better angle on that. Right, if I had a Tinkaton, it'd be bonking the hell out of me all the time. God damn, this thing is really... There we go. If Tinkaton bonked me, I'd be dead. I'm some, I'm just that horny. Like, all the time. Oh boy. There we go. Oh, what?! Ugh. Hey, pass it. Pass it. Do not. You. <laughs> Dude, you suck. Ow. If Cat had the mallet and had to bonk me whenever I was horny, I'd be dead. I would, the top of my head would be flat. Concave even. This morning she was like, Talking about how she, like, I don't know, slept on her boob weird, I guess. <laughs> and, like, uh, like, probably slept on, like, a charger or something. And she's like, so I put a band-aid. I put a band-aid on it. And I was like, show Jeremy where it hurts. You know, like, oh. I'll be like having a full conversation. Just want to kiss it, make it better. I might have made that joke as well. Um, there are times I'll be having like a full conversation with Cat, and then you know she'll be like getting ready or whatever, and she'll be getting dressed, and she'll like take her shirt off, and I'll just stop talking. I'll be like, yeah, you know, and then we can go out here, and then we, And then like we'll and then we'll take care of this and then like we'll what you know. Priorities, you know. I've been with that girl for sixteen years and it doesn't make a lick of difference.
Yeah, sure. Take all my money. You fuck. I'll get it back. Oh, I'll get that money back. Don't you worry. So, by the way, Spyro 2 begins the tradition of um, having to return to levels once you have different abilities. Um, they do it in 3 as well. But, like, this is the first game where there's basically there's a level that you won't be able to complete. At least one level per world that you won't be able to complete uh, without going to the next world. So, um, for Summer Forest, which I'm in, like, which is the first world. Is this, is that what I'm in? Summer Forest? Yeah. Um, in Summer Forest, it is the Sunny Beach level. One of the turtles. Um, I can't beat that level until I learn to climb. And I can't beat the home world until I learn to climb either. Which is in the second world. So, like, I need to leave the second the first world go learn to climb in the second world and then come back that's when we'll like do the time split uh, technically glimmer but yeah you know obviously I can get around that and then in the second world there's certain maps you can't complete um, fracture hills and oasis you can't complete without head bash so you have to go to the third world learn head bash and then come back And then it's the same thing in the uh, third game with the other characters. <laughs> the bagpipe playing satyrs, yeah. Oh crap, fuck that up. Came back around for it. We're good. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, my eyes are up here. Have I considered making spiral? What was that red? So it'll go fast. <laughs> I uh, I had the the chonky spiro mod for a little while. That one was very funny. Like that's the thing though, is that's not a cheat code. That's like a mod. You actually have to like mod the game. But it was still very funny. Underwater sections are also going to be a whole freaking thing in the next couple of games. Like, starting with Aquaria Towers. Aquaria Towers is the first one where it's like, Ugh! <laughs> Quack. 
crap. I'm missing gems somewhere. See, is it over here? Nope. Okay. All right. So this whole thing, gonna feed this idol. Don't feed it any red fish, only blue and yellow ones. Uh, this is a real random thing. Sometimes they come up fast and there's no reds like that. You can get on a good spree. Oh, wow. Some th that's That was good RNG right there. I'll take it. The last one? Yes. Okay. Spyro cannot drown. Listen, I don't know the reason, but that's just the case. Uh, oh man. I think it's this. There we go. All right. Nice job. Two levels down. Huh. Oh. Ah. <sighs> God damn. Yeah, Aquara Towers is... It's a whole thing, that level. Yeah, this is a kid. When I found this, I was like, What the fuck? Because I spent so long trying to glide and hover to this orb, and I was like, Oh my god, that's how you get that orb? Trying from so many different angles. Look, 800. That must be all the gems. I definitely missed some back there, but whatever. Well, that's a later. That's future Jeremy's problem. That is not current Jeremy's problem. Here's the guys that sound like Spongebob. I don't know if they still do. I forget if Tom Kenny redid, like, the voice for these ones, too. No, they used to sound exactly like Spongebob. It was, I mean, it was Tom Kenny doing the voice, right? And he just did the Spongebob voice. The gear grinders! It was, like, full-on just him. It was awesome. They definitely were like, uh, Tom, you gotta do a different voice. You, uh, you can't, you can't be doing this. I mean, he still does the voice of Spyro. If you didn't realize that Spyro and SpongeBob are the same voice actor, well, there you go. <laughs> this just in. They are. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. 
My <laughs> mind blown. Yeah, Tom Kenny. He, uh, I mean, just amazing voice actor, obviously. He's also Patchy the Pirate in SpongeBob. So never Patchy's on screen. He's like, oh, Patchy's doing whatever. That's, that's, that's SpongeBob. <laughs> this orb fucking sucks, by the way. If you didn't know. Basically, you have to, like, put these things all in, and they'll, like, keep fucking it up. See? They'll, like, keep spawning off screen and fucking it up. Like that, the way you just, like, snagged that one. Then you have to, like, run and put them back, because they won't spawn unless you put them back. And you basically just have to keep doing it, like, until you have all ten of them. And it is absolutely infuriating. <laughs> and you can kind of, like cheese this part a little bit in, oh boy, in the original, like in the original you can kind of get them in a, oh my god, stop it, you can like kind of get them in a loop where like they spawn in the same spot every time, like down here, and you can just sort of keep fucking them up. All right, is that nine? Yeah, okay, so now we can put all these ones in because the last one's gonna be up top. So, so those ones are all in. Let me come up here, we're gonna kill this guy. Okay, and then we can go ahead and put all these back. God. Thank you. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm probably missing some stuff. Oh, yeah. There we go. Like that. Oh, I don't know why this just came to mind right now, but for anyone who plays Pokemon Go, was there an update recently that made the game run faster? I feel like every single action in Pokemon Go is way faster, like catching, encountering, Yeah, okay. It it I I wasn't super sure, but I was like it really feels like it. Oh, I didn't get my Pokemon stop today. Fuck, I'm gonna break my streak. I need that fucking seven day streak and I keep not doing it.
Basically, all the animations are smoother and faster. Nice. Because, like, I need to be playing that right now because I could get shiny Alolan Sandshrew right now because, like, they're out and around. Uh, missed the window there. God, that was close. I really, that was risky for no reason. Oh, that ends today? Fuck. Oh, well. I guess well, I'll have to get it the old-fashioned way. <clears throat> Missed my window. Do I consider Pokemon Go as part of my living decks? Yes. Anything I can get into Pokemon Home, yeah. Uh, yeah, so... Alolan... Is Alolan Vulpix in Sword and Shield? I know Alolan Sandshrew is. Didn't feel like getting that one, Sparks. Yeah, okay. So I'll just have to misuse a method for the, for those. So this level, I'm not really going to do. Um, like, I'm just going to kind of run through this level as fast as I can. Um, because we're going to have to come back to it anyways. I'll just do it then. Get out there. Thank you. <laughs> the December community day that includes Alolan Sandshrew is December 17th through 18th. Okay. All right. I got to look up exactly what's on that community day. Um, so I don't hunt them. In the, I don't waste my time hunting them in the other games. Nice. Yeah, Legends Arceus has been connected to home for a while now. Oh, the flight levels in this game and in, in the third one even more are a whole different animal than... Wait. I've done this wrong. I did that in the wrong order. I think I did. I think I'm supposed to do these now. Wait, did I do it in the wrong order? Maybe I didn't. I don't remember. No, I don't think I did. I think I was doing it in the right order. I did do it in the wrong order. <laughs> that ate up a little bit of time, but I just totally forgot how to do this area. I told you, it's been a while since I played. 
See, I knew it felt wrong. <laughs> Something about that just did not feel correct. There we go. Then you do these. <laughs> oh god so this is why the flight levels are a whole different can of worms in the second game than they are in the first because they have these bonus challenges and a lot of these just don't control very well. Yep. Yep. Ugh. These flight levels, dude. Because it's been so long, I don't fully remember his pathing. He's got a weird pathing, and you have to go in the same order he goes in. See, because he he looks like he's going for that, and then he randomly, like, hooks in, and he does that a couple of times. They also, for some reason, call this a race, even though it clearly isn't. Because if you get in front of him, you're dead. <laughs> See, and now he's gonna go hook, and he's gonna hook in here. Comes up here. Goes. See, so you think he's you're, you think he's gonna go for that one up there? Nope. Skill point on this is the night is a nightmare. Well, I, I don't know if there's a skill point on that. There's a skill point for the uh, there's a skill point for the flight, which I did. Um, and the other skill point you can get at that level is if you burn all of the audience members there, the ones around her, all the ones like jumping and cheering. If you flame all of them, you get a, you get a skill point as well. Yeah, here you go, fuckface. <laughs> Alright. Here goes nothing. Where it's ours. Zero Ferret, welcome back for your third month of rolling with the rally. Jesus. I didn't mean to hit that. Fuck. This area is quicker to clear out if there isn't water. Oh, 
Good. in here. I'll tell you, um, the crabs, killing them in this game, like, it's still nice because they, like, blow up and everything. It was way more satisfying in the original. They were, like, they fucking exploded when you killed them. It felt meaty. It was, like, Crab on the ceiling. Crab on the motherfucking ceiling, and I need a crab on the ceiling. Doom, doom. I wonder if Cat's done with work soon. I want to see her. I haven't seen her in too long. In like a couple hours. Whoops. Our world is wet again. Our world is wet again. You are welcome for your wet world. Oh. They got wet. I showed up. They were instantly wet. Can't blame them. Perfectly normal thing to say. The skill point in this level is to burn all this red seaweed that's around. This stuff. Let me up! Can I? Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, did I get all the gems in this room? I did. Okay, I, I just didn't, I had to double check that. I wasn't sure. And you're like, okay, that's not bad. That's not that bad of a level and, oh, what's this? Oh, Jesus. I see. Shiny Cufin? Nice. If you can 
That was my first shiny in Scarlet and Violet. Shiny Cufin. Can't wait to do more shiny hunting in that game. So fun. Alright. This fucking sucks, by the way. Just so you know. This one's not bad, the next one's awful. You're at work watching the stream? You can't be doing that. I saw my phone light up, so I'm gonna check what that was. When I can, you know, blink. Gems. Okay, sweet. And now we gotta do this last thing. It's, it's, it's my love. Oh, forgot that. Huh? That's good. So do you feel better now? Oh. Nice. Um, I'm starting to get a little on the hungry side. I think he does not have big poofing feet. He's got little tiny poofing feet. I don't know. They don't look that big to me. He is a handsome boy. And he's got tiny little feet. What? He's just being a cute boy? like under my chair. Oh, he's definitely not as tiny as Skipper. Skipper is like fake. Like Skipper isn't real. She's not a real cat. Yeah. Skipper is like the tiniest little thing. And you know what else she is? She's a menace. Ow! <laughs> Skipper is an absolute menace. She's just like all on the counter and she's going through like, basically the cat version of like the terrible twos and stuff. She's also a torty. So, so oh. they, yeah. But, uh, she, you know, we just have to train her. Booker and, and, Booker and Scooter and <laughs> Zipper went through all of it as well. But he's just, he's just rolling around being adorable. His cat's here. All right, first boss. And then we'll learn how to climb, and then we'll come back and complete this, and that will be... One of the three worlds done in the second game. Hi, sweetheart. Okay. What do you think of her food? Okay. All right. Don't yell at me. <laughs> you can defend yourself. What are you talking about? You came on to... You came on a stream and obliterated me in front of a whole audience. You did. 
You absolutely just put me on blast. I told everyone that you had a, uh, a boo boo boo. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. I mean, like, I'm sorry you have a boo boo, but at the same time, I'm kind of thankful. Because, so far, probably best part of my morning. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Featured items, okay. Weird. Can we buy Cat a bit? We should get Cat a big inflatable mallet to just have around. <laughs> huh? You're not bonking me? What's the point in life if you and I can't bonk? You, you. You would never have sex with me again if I got a if I got a tattoo on my genitals of a crystal dragon. Every time we were ready for I absolutely one of the times like one time with you and me, I absolutely killed the mood and we didn't do anything because I said initiate snoo snoo. Yep, hundred percent that happened one time. I yelled initiate snoo snoo. And that was it. And then sex did not happen anymore. Yep. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> it was funny though, see? I told you, it was worth it. Now we can laugh about it. Yep. See, she's she's snickering. She's 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 remembering, and it's funny to her. Um, nothing is, uh, nothing's uh catching your eye. Either that or very very, like not normally sensitive. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. I had a cough for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, my throat is not sore. Yeah, there's something in there. Nice. Cat is over there, just grumbling, trying to come up with what food she wants to eat. options. I thought earlier you said you wanted a burger. You don't Shut want a burger anymore? Coming. Listen, I can't tell you what you want. Ooh, Salamanta, thank you for the vibes of the bomb and a hype train is close. Kat says thank you in that cute voice she has. She wants eggplant parm. Yes, she does. But yeah, you want you want the eggplant parm that I make. I'll make that later this week. I'll make that Friday. How about that? Eggplant parm on Friday. I 
I can hear cat sat down on the floor, so now Poofin's like, ooh. I see someone I can cuddle with. Ooh, and then some bits as well, Salamanda. Thank you. Just saying you are welcome, cat. Is it like hot dogs? No, wait, what? Um, I mean, I'm sure it's fine. Cat's talking about a shadow kitchen, like a place we know is a shadow kitchen. Um, but it's Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't mind. I like Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, I'm sure the Buffalo Wild Wings has decent, God, decent burgers. Memphis Rock will come back for a year. Uh, what is a shadow kitchen? Okay, shadow kitchens. It is not related to the shadow realm. Shadow kitchens are when, then th this started happening like during the pandemic, when uh, chain restaurants and like you know well known, well well known like sit down restaurants kind of make a different persona on, um, you, you, they basically catfish you on like Uber Eats and, and DoorDash and stuff. They're like, oh God, no, don't stop that. Um, so for example, like, you know, there's a uh, Uno, Uno's Chicago, whatever. Chicago Pizzeria or whatever they call it. Um, they started doing De Detroit style pizza. So they open, so like uh, if you go on like Uber Eats, sometimes you'll see like, oh, Detroit Pizza Works or something. And it's like, ooh, I wanna try that. That sounds like they have good Detroit style pizza, but it's not, it's, it's Uno. Like, I mean, it's still good, but like they know that people looking for something to eat won't be like, oh, you know, we could we could do Uno, but they're like, they look and they see that and they go, ooh, let's do that. That's new. Right. And like, I, you know, I don't like that, but at the same time, like, whatever. <laughs> I think Mr. Beast Burger did that. I think those are mostly shadow kitchens. What's wrong, Scooter? Oh, he told me all about the pee he took earlier. Oh my god, he was, he just, he really let me know. Chili's has one called Just Wings. Just, just Chili's. Huh? 
Yeah, Chili's for wings is interesting. I would never consider, if I wanted wings, I would never consider going to Chili's. Oh, did I not? Yeah. That would be Wing Street all the way if I wanted wings. Not, wait, not Wing Street. Wing Stop. Wing Stop all the way. Wing Street is Pizza Hut. Wing Street is Wings from Pizza Hut. Wing Stop is its own place. Yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings ain't bad at all. <coughs> that one was that one was on me. <coughs> I I breathed in instead of swallowing the spit. Yep, I didn't swallow before I spoke. Yeah. Kind of like soup Nazi style kitchen are you getting this burger from? Red Robin? Red Robin's running that kind of establishment? Dang. Oh yeah, it's split. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boop. There we go. You're right. Um So what Kat was saying is the place she was looking at, they said you, like, she was like, the burger has American cheese, and I want it to have cheddar, but you can't swap it out. That's why I was like, what the fuck kind of place is doing this? What kind of, what kind of burger place doesn't have cheddar? Yeah, you can't swap out cheese? What the fuck? I have to pause for what? Because I need to order? I was just busy chucking that man into fucking oblivion. I'm not a murderer. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yee yee bee, it's the background. Oh, shit! Get down! It's a stop now! So, and thank you for the 20 subs. Sub nuke! Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I think there was a hype train. I think that's already come and gone. I don't remember. Thank you so much for that. Much appreciated. And Beppo Boy with the 14 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Very close to that drawing stream. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, yum. What do I want from Red Robin? Yum. To get a crispy chicken sandwich? Mushroom and Swiss burger? I always like those. Ooh, this has scorpion pepper sauce on it? Jeez, hey, you're boofing. Holly, they have a burger called Keep It Simple. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. New pretzel bacon beer cheeseburger? They also have a cheesy bacon fondue burger. Don't know. Oh, and I'll upgrade that to some fucking sweet potato brown. Mm-hmm. Night Lord with the 50 sub sub nuke! That's the draw. We did it! The drawing streams are on! 9,000! 9,000 people tuning in! Uh, uh, uh. God damn! Uh, alright. Don't want anything else. Time to order a new stylus, yep. 
Did you get anything else, Cat, or just a burger? Okay, I, that's probably all I need. Huh? Yep, that's probably. I don't think I need anything like crazy with it. There you go. Ugh. Woo! Jesus, what a thing to come back to. Uh, okay, yeah, that's the last one. Okay, I couldn't remember. Uh, you. Is your boyfriend? Is your little boyfriend? Is your tiny scooter boyfriend? Scooter poofin, scooter poofin, poofin, scooter poofin, poofin, scooter poofin. Oh, I forgot the order. Oh, I did get him. I didn't know if I got him or not. Boop, boop, boop. Ragnarok man with the 11 months. Ooh, we didn't hit the hype train before. Now a hype train is close. Ooh, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Blue Sakana, welcome back for your second month of rolling with the rally. Much appreciated. Oh my god, no way! Dreadnought! Thank you, thank you! Was that 20 more? 20 more subs! Oh! Five some sub bomb as well. Oh, damn. I mean, yeah, we are closing out No Breaks November. I mean, we're getting there. Technically, the last day of No Breaks November is going to be um, December 1st. I know that we technically started on October 29th and are ending on December 1st, but oh, oh, what happened? That was weird. Um, there was a lot of odd hitboxes there. That was, that was all weird. We gotta do this. I don't know if that was a frame rate bug or something, but it, it did. It definitely felt odd. <laughs> Oh. 
An LLG for no breaks in November. Yeah. I caught another one? Get down! It's a sub now! God! Damn, Will! Thank you, thank you. How many was that? I didn't look away because I was doing this. 20, thank you for the 20 subs up, Nuke. Oh my god, bearded smile. A hundred sub sub nuke! Oh my god! Sub bomb Holy crap! And another sub bomb! Jesus! What is going on? About to beat your last record, it says. Wait. Oh, no, really? Incoming. When I died, it reset the rocket? Oh. Den with another sub bomb. Oh, my God, guys. A oh, hundred bearded smile. What the fuck? There's so many sub dudes. What the fuck? Uh, try this to us. Thank you for the five subs up, bomb. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Incoming. Oh, my goodness. So that's... I think it's... All right, so there was ten for that, five for that, two and two. So 19. 19 more packs besides these. Okay. Holy shit. Oh. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you for the other 100 bitties. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, another one? Get down! It's a sub now! So in with another 20 sub sub nuke. What the hell? What the hell is going on? Ah! Sub bomb incoming. And then Factor of Unknowns with another sub bomb. Holy crap. Jesus. Thank you for resubbing. Thank you for resubbing, everybody. Ah! Oh my gosh. What is going on? Sub bomb incoming. Thank you for the sub, Salamanza. Thank you for the sub bomb. Thank you for the bits! Like, trying to play- Oh my god, another sub bomb! Mega spam you all with a sub bomb, thank you! Oh my god, what?! What?! It's a sub now! Crazy dude! Crazy dude with with a sub nuke. Hello. Oh my god. Thank you for 
That is insane! Already between last stream and this stream, because I, I saved all the Pokemon card packs from last stream to open this stream. That's already more than a booster box of Pokemon cards. Shark bomb incoming. Jesus! I'm with the Rose, thank you! And I'm Nicholas, thank you for the bits! I'm trying to look over while I'm playing. No, I'm not in pack debt. I got, I got packs, baby. Oh God, there's the, there's the, the fucking, uh, the record. When do I get nervous about the 15k? It's gonna be a little bit. Hey, that person just donated. Oh my god. Chat just letting you know how much we appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys very, very, very much. Oh, we getting drawing streams. Oh, 10,000 is another 1551 live concert? Oh my god. Am I gonna have to perform Imposter live? Drew Blanco with the 19 months, thank you. Ah! Samuel Morris, thank you for the 200 bits. Anonymous gifting another sub. Thank you. Might have to do some songs that I didn't even do at the at the previous 1551 live concert. I might have to do. Uh, I've never done sick live. Or the, or, oh, the Pokemon theme. Could do that live. Could hit up AH. Maybe see if I could do good at being bad live. Drunk. Oh, simply a riot! Thank you for the 1,000 bits! Oh my god, guys. Oh. Charm Destiny with a 1,000-bit frog as well. Wow. Holy crap, guys. That was insane. Thank you all so much for your support. That really, really means a lot. It really does. Thank you. that I can do shit like this and you guys actually enjoy it. It really means a lot. Oh, that was that was fucking out of nowhere. God damn. I was not in any way expecting a hype train like that. It's 
not even Thursday, yeah. Yeah, but seriously, thank you guys so much. People like Spyro. Nerdy Daxter with the five months. Yeah, Thursday is, that's Skyla day. That's when Skyla gets to just cut loose and have a grand old time. Oh man. And now we go from such hype and awesomeness to fucking this level. Herba Derp with the 14 months. Oh, God. Zephyr. For those of you who don't know, Zephyr has some of the most annoying orb challenges in Spyro 2. It's a huge level with super involved orb challenges. Oops. Do I like Breeze Harbor? Um, not really. Trouble with the trolley, eh? I feel like, see, this stream's gonna go super late, cause like, I feel like after that, I'm like, oh my god, we gotta do like a train station or something, but this stream's gonna go really late. Like, I'm just thinking what, what I can do for what just happened. Ow. Oh. That one really got to me. I don't, I just wasn't, I really wasn't expecting that one. Oh, man. Don't run. Can you die, please? Thank you. Aww. Thank you, everyone. Love you, too. Oh, I guess you count as in? Okay. My name is Little Bo Peep, and I'm lost to Macaulix. Ow, yep. Bitch. Oh, one of them just bombed the other one.
god, just even saying that, just going, yeah, bitch. You know what that makes me want to play? And it's not TTT, even though I know that's like where that really came from. Uh, yeah, in silence. Yeah, you know. You know what I was gonna say. In silence, for sure. Logan doesn't despise me. Logan is like Helga, and I'm Arnold. It's... And I think everyone knows that. Hey, that person just donated! And we've stolen every treasure that we ever had in view and we taunt and flaunt our power that we all have over you brought the city to its knees with every witty scheme we had and the only thing we're guilty of is we're just good at being bad. Hell yeah! Hell fucking yeah! Get in there! Let's go! Come on! Man, that one's really stuck on that railing, huh? Disagree, Logan would want to throw down. <laughs> yeah, you're acting like I don't go on Tumblr. I'm all over Tumblr. Honestly, it's hilarious because uh, Tumblr it just seems like even more people torturing Logan. It's hilarious. The amount of times there's like, like l let me sum up, let me sum up pretty much all that Tumblr is is Logan taking a screenshot of me. Usually, like you know, well not usually, but like you know, it could be like me in the werewolf outfit or something, posting it and being like, I can't fucking stand him, and then a bunch of replies from people being like, Oh, asterisk twirls hair, hello, and Logan being like, shut the fuck up, stop it, and then like, that's, that's it, that's Tumblr. Uh, you can sometimes get them up here, if you, if you get them in just the right angle. Alright, we'll go the long way around, come on. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. I know that's what it is. It's Logan being angry at me. Um, and then a bunch of people being horny in his replies and making him angrier. And that's pretty much, that's Tumblr. Can you fucking... Thank you. Oh, this is risky, this is risky. Okay. 
Please don't fall. Oh, yes. Tumblr was built on people being horny. Yeah, pretty much. Not wrong about that. Like, so there's the cowlick thing, then there's this whole thing. Fuck, they fucked this up. They fucked this up. This is the worst thing they did in the remake. Was make Juliet sound like that. Going like, Romeo, oh Romeo, oh, where is he? It's like, because in the original, you know, Romeo is like, that's my Juliet. I got to get her. And then, like, you get up there and she's like, Romeo. Oh, Romeo. Oh, there's Romeo. Fucking awesome. Here, take this. I don't need it anymore. Get in there. Get in there! All right. Yeah, they're cowlicks. My name is Little Bo Peep. I've lost my cowlicks. And then, and then they're like, there are two more cowlicks out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days.
the question mark jars are quite annoying. You hit them, and then they appear earlier in the level. You hit them, they appear early in the level, and you keep just chasing them back to the beginning of the level. When you hit them there, they actually blow up and give you the gems. You gotta hit them like a bunch. Well done, Sp Thank you. Yikers! Didn't realize I was just straight into that. Loaded faster than I was prepared for, really. Gonna go around and massacre these people for no reason. I'm nervous because I usually mess up this part. I like forget where the last gate is. Okay, we're good. All right. The barrel, All right, now we gotta stop the. Thieves, the Sly Cooper are looking thieves here. So Hunter blasts him in the butt. And then I go, give me that. Mine. Also, um, so the world I'm in right now, um, Autumn Plains or whatever, um, it's the longest world in Spyro 2. The third world is quite, is significantly shorter. So, like, I'm, I'm basically, I'm in the bulk of it right now. Yeah, they're cats. They're cat burglars, technically. Harbor time. Uh, you're, it's near supper time, and you're a food person. Have you ever heard or watched Roll for Sandwich? Would you consider doing? I don't. I don't know what that is. Roll for Sandwich? No, I don't watch a ton of food content. I watch Sorted, and I sometimes watch um, Binging with Babish. Uh, but other than that, I, I... I don't watch a lot of food content. Oops. Oh my god, sending those to the moon.
Okay. Oh, God, guys. It's coming. It's in this map. Well, I was getting off of the gun because I thought that one hit it. Okay. I I have a binging with Babish Tiny Whisk. I got a Tiny Whisk. I just used it last night. I made I made some eggs for my first dinner. <laughs> I thought I missed that. I looked away and I was like, he's probably dead by now. I love the tiny whisk, cat. I use the tiny whisk a lot for if I need to whisk like flour or something, like a bunch of dry ingredients, like if I'm making cookies or something. That The tiny whisk is really good for that. Well, um, second dinner was like my depression TGI Fridays dinner at like 2 a.m. First dinner was scrambled eggs with a little bit of pico de gallo on the side. Excuse me. It was really good. It, it had been sitting for uh like a couple days too in the fridge. Um, so it's just it was just chopped up onions, tomatoes, and jalapeno with salt and lime juice on it. And so it had been sitting in the fridge for a couple days, so all the flavors like kind of combined by that point. And like it really brought out the sweetness of it, and it was really good. Ooh, cat, your ear popped again. Nice. Cat's got a very like clogged up ear. I, I don't want to hear it from you, dude. All right. Crap. I don't even remember the buttons. Oh, it's that. Okay. Oh! Trouble with the trolley, eh? Shut up. I didn't remember the buttons. Trouble with the trolley, eh? Alright. Just trying to. Oh, I'm so concentrated. I'm concentrating so hard. I don't want to hear his smug little pelican mouth say it again.
I jumped it. I gotta, I gotta... Uh, I'm gonna go back around. No! Trouble with the trolley, eh? Uh, fuck! I I wasn't expecting a TNT on that one. Fuck! I thought they were boxes every time. I didn't know that one could switch up. So if they're boxes, you have to jump over them. If they're TNT, you have to shoot them. But the annoying thing about the boxes on that one area I was on is you need to jump at exactly the right time to get both of the gears. If you jump too early, you miss the first gear. If you jump too late, you miss the second gear while also not hitting the box. Uh, come on, we got it, 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 we got it. Damn it. We gotta go back around. We gotta go back around. See, because it was a, like, it, it's way better when it's TNT. Because then you can just shoot it and stay on the path. All right, there we go. All right, now we just have one more path to do. Okay, it's a box, so we jump it. I think we got it. Oh my god! Oh! That's the most trouble that trolley's given me in a while. I'm definitely out of practice. Sparks really could have been a bro there. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. But since this is Autumn Plains, we are really not close to done with it yet. Because Autumn Plains is giant. Oh man. There honestly, it that's three levels in a row with a like miserable orb challenge. So that had the trolley. This has um the genie. And then the next one has the alchemist. It is just like hell after hell after hell. Go lurk and Cinner. Oh, go lurk in a corner. I thought this said go lurk and Cinneroar. Go lurk in a corner. Welcome back for your 20th month. The OG lurker. The monkeys. The monkeys. Well, lots of times when I say monkey, um, like I know it's not usually what people are referencing. I'm. Uh, lots of times I'm referencing this because in the original Spyro games the hard challenges and this was one of them that was pretty dang hard um, they made this one way easier because like the monkeys used to not target oh god 
The monkeys used to not target you. They would full-on target Hunter. And if they hit him, it was over. Um, and basically, whenever there was a hard challenge in the OG Spyro games, you would just get the line drilled into your brain that the person would say when you failed. Like, so before you tried again. Um, and in this one, it, you know, he'd be like, the monkeys have escaped from the zoo. And so, you know, you, you only heard as much as you could hear before you mashed A enough to get past it. So, every time you failed, you just hear him go, the monkeys, and then you would, like, start the next thing. And then you'd fail, and you'd come back, and you go, the monkeys? And, like, that's that's why Trouble with the Trolley became such a thing. Because that was... That's how much you could hear every time you failed it. Was him going, Trouble with the Trolley, eh? Every time. Trouble with the Trolley, eh? And it's like, no, there's no trouble with it. And you just had to hear it every time. So, like, that one is, you know, so that's why it's drilled into so many people's brains, because that's the amount they would hear before they could hit A and try again. The other one is in Spyro 3. Um, you're leading these two little brothers around um, as Sheila, and they're, like, trying to put bombs places, and if, if they blow up on the way and they get sent back, they go... So you just would hear that every fucking time. And they go, and then they'd be like, do we try it again? And you say yes, and then they go, yes, it's bombing time. Speaking of bombs, this is uh, another level where they made a uh, they made a change from the OG uh, for the best. I mean, but so we're in a Middle Eastern themed level. Um, and there is a orb challenger about to do where we chase down a genie who keeps throwing magic magic orbs at us. Um, and we have to dodge those and, and knock him off the pole a bunch. Now, what you'll see is um, he's a mystical looking genie. He's like, you know, orange and he's got like all these like patterns all over him and he looks like really cool. And his name is uh, Bob, I believe. Let's see. So, see? Bob the Flag Keeper, see? And he's like... Now, in, uh... In the original... Um... His skin, you know, was still orange, but, you know, things weren't rendered as well back then. He didn't have any designs on it, so it just looked like, you know, kind of a dark-skinned person. With a turban on. Um, and... His name was Bombo. And he didn't throw magic orbs at you, he threw bombs at you. Uh, and so they kind of were like, hmm... This is another one that got drilled into your head. Because he'd go, Ha! You won't get those flags so easily, dragon. And then you'd fail and you'd go, Ha! 
You won't get my flag so easily, dragon. He was, it, this was way harder in the OG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to throw bombs like crazy. And they were like super good at leading you and they'd bounce all over the place. The key to this, yes, is to take it slow, but also it's to um, use the high ground whenever you have it. So like, you know, here, be up here. He can't hit you up here and it still advances it. Same here. Those ones bounce backwards, so you just gotta be careful there. So you go up here, let them bounce. Close the distance where you can, there we go. Tubba Bubba, welcome back for your 13th month. Oh, right. They did replace all the guns as well. That, I, I can understand that. People were like, really up in arms about that. Huh, <laughs> arms. Uh, really up in arms about that when that was like shown that they replaced the guns. But like, I fucking get it. It's a kid's game. So this level we can complete right now, except for two, uh, well, technically except for one orb, but we're not going to bother doing a diff another one. There's a two-part challenge in this that is very annoying, um, and the second part requires you to have the head bash technique, which we don't get until the third world. So... Will you escort me? Oh! Okay. Um, so since it's a two-part, um, since it's a two-part mission, we're not gonna bother doing the first one, because if we did, we'd have to then do the second part, uh, we'd have to do the first part again when we come back to do the second part. So, not worth doing the first part right now, but, um, there are no gems that are hidden behind, uh, Head Bash in this level. So, we can get the Talisman, we can get one of the orbs, and we can get all the gems on this run. Um, okay. So, that's what we're gonna do. And then we'll, and then we'll come back for the two orbs after we learn head bash. Okay. Um. And there's actually. So those big dudes, the Earth Shapers, those are the ones I'm hitting into the lava. Um, you don't have to kill any of them. It's a skill point to kill them all. Um, well, okay, so it's a skill point to kill them all. And like, you know, they're optional enemies, really. But one of the orbs requires you, and to get the gems, requires you to have the supercharge power up and the amount of kills needed. Like basically the amount of enemy souls needed uh, 
means that you have to kill one of them in order to power it up. Basically, there's it's like 14 to power it up or something. And there's 13 enemies that aren't Earth Shapers in this map. Here, fuck off. So you need so you need to kill at least one of them. Oh, horse shit. Now that you have rest. Now that you have everyone you need. So this is what you need to supercharge for. So through here, up here. Oh, I forgot there's a step there. My bad. Let's bring it back. Actually, I can grab the gems while I'm here. There. Here. And then around the back. And there's two in the room with Hunter. Two vases, anyways. Up here, up the step, over the thing, through the door. Up here, through here. Whack. Okay. Oh, it's Cat, and she's got a burger. Now we're gonna do this again. Oh, oh! What happened, Cat? Nothing. Okay. Um, do you want to poof in or no? No. Wanted to poof Got it. Oh my god, what did I order? Oh! Wow! I just got my nose, just got. I got that pretzel. Oh my god, is that the Dijon? Oh, something smells. Something smells really. Like, like almost like horseradishy. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like wasabi. -y. I don't know what that was. Woo! I see. I told you that. Poofin, I was that's why I was like, do you want to take Poofin? He's crying now. Yeah, she left you. I know. Is it pungent? Yeah, it's pungent. I I for a second I thought you <laughs> I thought you just asked if I was pregnant. Let, <laughs> are you pregnant? Let me let me ask you a question. Where, where do you guys stand on this? A couple, right? A uh, uh, male and female couple, right? Uh, they're having a babe, okay? And like, what what are your thoughts on saying we are pregnant? Oh, oh, wait, music, 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 music. Here it comes. Oh, 
<laughs> Is it's weird, right? Yeah, we're expecting a child. You know, or anything like that. We're yeah, we're expecting or anything like that. It's like I've I've seen couples that are or like I've you know, met people that are like we're oh, we're pregnant. It's like no, you're not like she is. You know? <laughs> Shit, you just helped for like five seconds. You know? You... You chill out. Scooter! <laughs> Them big numbers. Like, that's, that's the thing I've accepted, right? Is like, oh my god, Scooter. If, if Kat and I ever decide to have a child, that is going to be nine months of my life where I don't care what I've done, but I, I've done it wrong. Whatever problem I'm having is not that bad. No, Hunter. Mine. Also mine. 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 Also mine. Okay, you win. Here's an orb. I'll give you um. Mine. Uh oh. Do you want that one? Too bad. Fine. Fine. Ah, you got that one. God. Where are they all? Where... Mine. Mine. <laughs> Sorry, Hunter, you were just, oh man, it's really like, the game's really liking you right now, huh? I'm not gonna make it to that one in time. There we go. Well, I, you know, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I just, ah! That sucks. If any of you are like patiently waiting for a dually kid, don't, don't hold your breath. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh, incoming, I'm Nua.
No, I'm new. <laughs> Kids in this economy? Yeah. Kids be expensive, you know? Hey, that person just donated. Hey, thank you. I am Nua. No, I'm Nua. Nua. I'm Nua. I'm Nua. I'm Nua. I can adopt the chat as my kids. No, I don't want to do that. Because I'm horny with them too much. That and that would be weird. You know, it would ruin that nice dynamic we have. Oh god! I'm Nua. No, I'm Nua. Fuck. A little bump into the wall. We use that as a nice turnaround technique. Wait, how did I phrase that? What did I phrase? Why? I'm. I said what I meant, and I meant what I said. And uh, no. What? Fuck. I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. And an elephant's. Oh god, something a hundred percent. I don't know. JCC, welcome back to your 28th month. Winks and blinks, 32. Thank you. No, is it faithful? And an elephant's faithful, 100%. That sounds right. Whenever he says in Horton, here's a who. With Jim Carrey and Steve Carell. And at the very end, they fucking start singing. It's awesome. And I'm getting closer than I ever thought I might. Bum, 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 bum. Baby, I can't fight this feeling anymore. Doom, doom. I've forgotten what I started fighting for. That movie was a fever dream. Uh, yes, it was. It was an absolute fever dream. Well, they were like, we gotta make Horton Hears a Who into, like, into a full movie. What do we do? And they're like, I don't know, what if we put, like, a, I don't know, like, a woman who is, like, super, I don't know, like, almost anti-religion in a way, like, 
If you can't see it, if you can't feel it, it doesn't exist. And then they're like, she's gonna hire a vulture that's like Russian. He's gonna be like, hey, I kill elephant. It, it what I do. It's, it's, it, I think his name is Vlad. So I think he was like Transylvanian. You know, he was like, boy, I am, I am eagle. Like. Did I actually watch the movie? I don't like you coming into my stream with all these fucking accusations. But yes, I absolutely did. Is that in the book? I honestly don't really remember the book, so. I also just got my ass kicked there. Hang on real quick. Ugh. Mimbe. Uh, listen, I was a kid. Um, like when I when I was a kid, you could watch like HBO on demand. Like we had HBO on demand. And uh I used to watch like whatever animated thing would show up on there. Right, which like or, or like kind of, you know, like like that was on there, or like the that live action Cat in the Hat was on there with um, uh, uh, Michael Myers, that was on there. Yeah, you know, you oh yeah, and um. <laughs> yep, yeah, you know. That was on there. Oh, yeah! Yeah. Yep, that was on there. Um, but the other thing I used to do is absolutely check the description of, of the movie beforehand. And if it said nudity, I was in. I was like, customer acquired. And that is how I saw the movie Swordfish. If you know, you know. See, because that's the thing. I've been horny since a very young age. Um, I may or may not, because we had the ability to, like, rewind TV and stuff like that, you know? Uh, I may, like, I don't know if it was TiVo or something. I don't know. Something. But we, I may or may not have rewatched the scene multiple times in uh, Kangaroo Jack where he grabs her breast because he thinks he's in a dream. You know, You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You know. You know the exact scene. <laughs> I replayed that scene quite a few times. And then she fucking punches him right in the face. He's like, they feel so real. And his friend's like, yeah. And then she fucking decks him. Ever seen Bartok the Magnificent? No. Is it the same Bartok that's a little bat friend that hangs around with Rasputin and goes, and then I kick her, sir. 
Why would you run that way? That was the easiest get of that in my life. Wait, is it really that? Wait, is it? <laughs> is it really him? He has his own movie? <laughs> I had no idea he had his own movie. That's fucking incredible. Okay, Kat, when you say Jeremy, you, me, Friday, which topic are you talking about? Are you talking about the bar talk one? I'm I'm fine with whichever topic it is. Where the fuck is it? There it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down. Cat the mal- Cat the mallet! Fuck! Mom! The meatloaf! Failed to... Wait, wait. Wait. Oh, is that what's crashing? It's my wallpaper engine. Okay. Alright, maybe it's done now? My wallpaper engine was crashing. I'll tell you, Cat. Knowing that Cat is watching, she is definitely like, like, oh god damn it, and and that makes it so much more fun. I love it. Oh my god. Wow, the game is really having a hard time. Please don't crash again. I feel like I've done this. Did I do this wrong? No, we'll be fine. We're fine. Thought I hit retry. Back in! <laughs> Come on.
Come here, dude. This one's tough. This one I failed a lot when this game first came out. What I discovered about this game is it seems to be easier because when I'm just like playing the game, I'm using the D-pad to move around. This one seems to be easier if you use the stick. Oh, fuck! Oh, it's so hard. This one's really hard. Because you have to, like, you really have to whip Spyro around. Like, you have to start moving before you're at, um, like, before you've hit the ring on some of them. This section right here. Oh, we got it. No! I thought it was, I thought there was only 45. Oh, fuck! I fucked that. I thought there were only 45 of them. I thought that was the last one. I stopped paying attention. Oh, no! I didn't see more. We were, I was at such a perfect angle where I didn't see any more in front of me. And I was like, there we go. That's it. All right, here it comes. This is the section. Oh my God, dude, it's so hard. It's so hard to whip him around like that. It's like, it's like f frames. Like you have literal frames to do it. It's so fucking hard. Okay, just clip that. Go. And go. And go! Go! Uh. Okay. Alright, this is the hard part here. Fuck. Go! Okay. Go! No! Fuck! Oh, it's so hard! It's so fucking hard! God! This is the thing that got the hardest. This thing got fucking impossible. Like this used to be kind of annoying in the in the original, but it was, you know, it was fine. It got so hard in reignited. Oh. So it's not over yet. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. That, in my opinion, that's the hardest part of all three games. Like, by a long shot. That That's literally the most difficult thing in, the, in all three of them. The full trilogy. It's so hard. Because, like, it's literal milliseconds. That you have to hit the thing. Go. Oh. That's the part that I'm so happy that that's over.
All right. All right, that bird is stuck. Now, Gulp is actually kind of tough because he's really good at leading you. Get the double hit. Gotta love the double hit. Oh, that one, yeah. Um, I love Gulp's animation when he roars the way like his his throat actually like wobbles when he roars. It looks so good. Look, like oh. Got it. Got the double. Gulp's actually pretty tough. Um, of the boss fights, like in all the games, he's probably the hardest boss. Oh, that's awesome. Whatever, I got it. Don't care. Oh, yes. That's badass. All right. That was good RNG on the end there. Oh, Spike used to be really hard, yeah. But something about what they did in the remakes, just Gulp got way harder, I feel like. Yeah, that's it. So Sp Spike probably just got nerfed, but Gul Gulp feels so hard to deal with. Okay. Come here. Okay. I'm gonna have some sweet potato fries. No, nope, no split. We're not done yet. We're not done. No split yet. You'll be fine, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. I freed you in another life. Oh, I do actually need health. In case I fuck this up. Okay, so basically I have to escort this guy. All right. The way to do this is, well, A, to know his pathing. But these guys, they'll look at you, right? And then they'll like turn their attention to him. <gasps> oh no! Oh! I forgot what his pathing was there for a second. Oh, ho, 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 ho. see, look, he's like, ooh, I'm going to go to that guy. No, I'm not. So see how they turned their attention to him? That's when you want to ram them. Otherwise, they'll hit you. Okay. Now there's a part two of this where Hunter shoots them with arrows and then you have to head bash them. Uh, while they're on the ground. And if you take too long, they get back up and you can't do it again, I guess. I don't know.
So he's first, then he shoots him. Then him. Then I think he shoots him. Yep. There's one he shoots in a weird order. Yeah. There we go. Alright. This one's a little harder because I need to actually kill enough enemies to get the um, whatever to turn on. The power up. And since you like actually unlock areas in this, I have to, I have to like play the level again, basically. Ow. Okay, whatever. Ow. So, I'm not sure exactly how many it is. The other annoying thing about this level is if you get too far ahead of him, he will stop. It looks like it's 18. Okay. So, we need we need to kill 18 enemies before we can complete this level. But like, see, he's not advancing. I have to like go back here and be next to him. Really hoping I could do that. I probably can from the right angle, but whatever, it's fine. Actually, I don't know if you can flame the tree or not. Uh, I think you can. You can. Ow. That's probably doable from the right angle. Okay. So we need 18 kills. Come on. Oh my god, dude. Uh. Okay, we got enough. So basically, you have to stop these guys from meeting a grisly fate. Oh! I almost missed. I didn't realize one had already come out. That was close. They also don't have the noises here, but there used to be a noise when they, if they got too low, they go, Oh no! That meant they were about to drown. Please be all the gems I need. You love to see it. I am. Hundred percent speed run. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. This level also kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you guys.
There's the elephants that, by the way, look exactly like fucking Tantor or whatever from Tarzan. Oh my god. Yeah, this level, um... This level's a, a bit rough. I'm not gonna lie. It's got... It has a really cool side mission. Um, like the... Uh, the trade quest. I, I I like the trade quest, but it's got a lot of areas where they hide gems, so it's kind of annoying to complete because there's a lot of like random underwater areas. And then it has um, a very very annoying orb uh, orb quest. Also, this step, randomly, is very hard to get up. See what I mean? <laughs> randomly. No, this is game two. We're almost done with game two. We're getting very close. We're in the third world, um, but the third world is significantly um, shorter than the, the second world. Um, okay. By the way, if you didn't notice, those lemurs are throwing Wumpa fruit at me. I would say to 100% all three games, normally it takes me about 10 and a half hours. I think is what it took me the last time I did this. So. Hopefully that gives you an idea of how big the third game is comparatively. Why can't I move the camera? There we go. All right. Let's just fucking talk to this guy. So this is the mission. So this spawns in a bunch of like cat burglar characters um, that you need to chase down. And so they're like egg thieves, but worse. Uh, they're actually, I think they're kangaroos, maybe? I think they're kangaroos. But as you can see, they're very, very, very fast. They're spark plug thieves. They're very fast and they have very annoying paths. Except that one. That one's, that's the idiot of the group, that guy. Like, <laughs> So like this one. Like this guy's pretty annoying. 
might be able to get him here. Got him. All right. And there's one more. Up here. All right, here. Oh, my God. The hell happened there? I got too far in front of him. Got him. Okay, we're good. Woo! All right, I'm gonna try to get the rest of the gems now. And then... Then we'll do the trade quest. And that should be it for this level. Uh, I was like, there's, I think there's gems down here. Yeah. But like, this is what I mean. Like, when I said there's, there's gems hidden everywhere. I saw some chests down here somewhere. They're there. Have I been through this one? I have. Okay. So we're going to let Sparks lead us to... The rest of the gems, and then we'll quickly do the fetch quest. Down here? Nope. Oh, let me out! Let me out of the water! Oh, it's probably by where I get the fetch quest. Okay. There's this one. And then... There's some gems here. And here. Is that it? Yep. There we go. Okay. Now we just gotta get out of this. Uh, which is... Let me out! I have to go try to conquer that, that step again. You can get absolutely stuck here, because for some reason... There we go. They made that step too tall. I don't know why, but that step they made too high. Okay. Trade quest. He's like, find my pencil. Here's an egg. Okay. Don't fall in the river. Oh, my God. I would, I would just close the whole game if I fell in that river again. All right. So you take the egg, and you put it in the nest. Okay. And then the bird goes, my egg's back. Here's a seed. And you go, ooh, a seed? Well, I saw where there was a pot that I could plant a seed. Oh, bloop. Plant the seed. Grows a flower. Flower goes, Kah! or like whatever this weird monster thing is. It coughs up a rubber duck. And you go, wait a minute. Where have I seen a depressed mother duck that lost one of her young? Over here. So you go, don't be sad. Here's replacement for the, the baby. And then she gives you a turnip and then, or whatever it is, and you take that. And you go, oh, but where would I put this turnip thing? And you go, wait a minute. All the way back over here. with some fucking soup put that in there and then you go here's a gold coin and you go ooh, a gold coin oh where would I put a coin I know in the fountain and then the fountain goes here's a pencil And you go here. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Nailed it. Well, I dropped a sweet potato fry. I don't know where it went. I'll find it later. Okay, um, back to it. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Scooter probably will find that fry. And I don't know, I would doubt sweet potatoes are good for cats. Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, this is another sound effect that they changed in this game. These things... You just... They, they spit, like, these orbs at you. These, like, flame orbs. That I... That, that I just spit at him. Um... But in the old game... Yep, when they hit you with them, they go... Ah, ah, after they hit you with it. And it was like, fucking shut up. You be playing the game, trying your fucking best, and then these things come along. <laughs> you know, the little shits they are. Ow. Oh, God. This is another classic. Another sound effect they took out when this guy spotted you in the original, it would make like a screeching brake sound. It'd be like, Aah! and he'd point at you. Sparks, get behind the tree. I'm a secret agent. Such a weird, like, out of nowhere challenge. Like, <laughs> it's got, like, nothing to do with the environment. So, like, you know, like the warlocks everywhere and all this different stuff going on. Then this this random guy. I'm a secret agent. You gotta be fucking careful. Look out. Uh oh. Tell your secrets.
All right. Thank you. There is a slightly irritating orb challenge in this one. I mean, besides that, that one. Like, that one can, can get frustrating. But this one... Gonna freeze these guys. Come here. Yeah, his ice form looks it looks real good, doesn't it? They did a great job with all of his power-up forms. Nope. Nope. I need him like... Like there-ish. Uh, that, that might not be enough. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. I suppose you want an orb for doing that. This one is the real particular one. Did I get him? Yeah. Thanks, Spyro. Oh my god, why are you facing that way, Spyro? Please. And now we got to do this. Can I? I never tried that before, but I guess not. Oop. Oop. There we go. There we go. Okay, did we get everything up here? Yep. Fuck. I missed something by the secret hideout. Fuck, I missed something else. Back at the beginning. I missed something else. One more flight, two more levels, one more boss fight. That's all that's left for the second game. And the home world, of course. And then that's it. How long do I think the third game will take? Probably like... Um... Oh man, I don't know, three... It'll, it'll probably take like four hours. It's definitely the, the biggest game.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the home of Billy Bugfucker. Robotica Farms, born and raised. And it was such a nice place until these robotic sexy bugs moved in. Now I can't get a lick of sleep. Owie. That's what you sound like, Scooter. Uh-oh. Scooter? That is my food. But father, it smells so good and I hunger. Oh, right, I forgot about this part. Okay. What are you doing, bud? Well, not going well. You, th th basically, <sighs> Scooter is sitting on my arm, and when I say sitting on my arm, I mean full butthole on arm. Dude. See, I have to sit, like, kind of awkwardly now. Well, I wanted to... I wanted to see if, like, I have to sanitize this or not. So, yes, I did. Like, basically, I'm, I'm getting a feel of, like... Do I need to... You know make a special trip to wash this arm at one point. Like, beyond, like, oh, I don't take a shower tonight. It's like... It's like, you're gonna, you're gonna wash that arm. Yep, cats and their buttholes. Cats, cats and their, cats get their buttholes everywhere. You know, it's just it's just a constant thing. I I one of the funny things though I told Cat uh, the other day that I noticed is like I, I'm sure a lot of cat owners do this, but. Cat and I both do this, but when like one of our cats walks by us, like every so often, we'll like, you know, we'll look back there just to make sure everything looks healthy, right? You know what I mean? Like, just are you cleaning yourself properly? Are you healthy? Is it like red or you know, any, like, you know, you just do a little, you know, a little observing just to make sure your cat's healthy. Um, but, uh, Scamper is so fluffy that you can't see anything back there. 
you have to, right? You have to, like, you know, just make sure your cats are healthy. Um, Scamper is so fluffy that you can't see if anything's going on, because it's just, it's just butt fluff. We're gonna have to bring it around again. Cause I got weirdly stuck in the wall there. All right, I gotta make sure I got everything on this track. I think I did, but let's just double check. And then I have the mystery pot or whatever. Nope, I didn't. Okay. If at any point you're thinking, well, Jeremy looks like he's sitting kind of awkwardly, uh, I am. Uh, there is a gato in my leg. Don't move around like you're uncomfortable. You're like... See, it's too early for dinner, so this is just pure attention-seeking by him. I... I s yeah, I know you're here. I see you. Time to, time to fight the invading farm animals. Oh, is that a cat? He's spoiled. I am not doing well. Yeah, you might you might have to you might have to come get him at some point oh There we go. I 
I mean, this boy seems very love starved. So I, you know. I mean, I can give him some pets once I finish the second game, because that's when I'm going to take a second to eat some food. The cow skull and crossbones looks really good. I don't know if I've noticed that before. These fucking goats. He's like standing up, but he's asleep. Like he's just, he's just standing there. There we go, buddy. Hi. I, I I don't know what I can do for you right now, Poof. Poofin. Not really sure what he just knocked off the desk, but it was certainly something. It it wasn't nothing. Uh, Artemis F95. Welcome back for your 14th month. It's a lot of gems in this room. This room has a ton of verticality to it. So it's really easy to miss gems in here. Because they can just tuck them up. Okay, I think... Nope, 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 there's one. Alright, hopefully this is the last of the gems. That's awesome. Alright. Cool. We just got to clean up everything in the overworld, and then we have a flight level, and then the boss, and that's it for Spyro 2. So we are getting there. That's that. Uh. 
Du, 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 du. Thank you. All right. That's all right. Yeah, go get some sleep. You don't have to. You don't have to stick around for that. It's always gonna be the vod. <laughs> I like the noises they make when you hit them. Pow! It's the fucking Catalina wine mixer. Pow! Why does he keep doing that? There's almost always a VOD unless Jeremy's had a bad day. Truth. Okay. Don't miss anything! Die. Shoot all the things. Man, that thing really almost got away from me. All right, then there's two blimps. We're good. Thanks, Hunter. All right, guys. Let's grab the rest of the gems in the overworld. Fight Ripto. And we'll pause the timer for finishing Spyro 2. All right. Just gotta get all the gems. Okay. I <laughs> bonk my way up the stairs. Get that. Dunzo, in we go. All right, Ripto. Thank you, Hunter. I'll take the four hit, half his health in one go. Wow. Don't really know what happened there. One more hunter. Got him, okay. 
And now phase two. Now he gets the ability to lead you. All right, Hunter. Hunter. Phase two done. All right, phase three. Okay, he's gonna try to fly around the castle now. Fuck. Got him. That's it. Ripto's done. All right. Well, hang on. There we go. Pause it. Hey. There it is. 10,000. So if we quit the game, 100%. All right. Now we just got Spyro 3. This one, this one is long. Meow. All right. And we're off. We're really going to see what we can manage here. Because I do not want to be... You know, on this, like, forever. It's not... I mean, it's not going to be forever. It's going to be... Probably between four and five hours, depending on how fast I do it. Hey, if you're in chat, your name is Isabel. Shout out to you. Oh, yeah, I'm absolutely going to finish it tonight. I mean, it's just, you know, it's a lot. If your name is Coltrane, shout out to you. name is Amy. Shout out to you. But only with an I. If it's with a Y, fuck off. You know, I'm I'm sorry. That's just the way it is, you know? 
that's how the game is gonna be. No! Fuck. Stop! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Me, 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 me. I'm a creepy little monster. Take this, Odinson! Okay, we're gonna... Oh! Come on, Sparks. Alright, I'll do it. Oh, you fuck face! You a little fuck face, you are! I'm gonna fucking damn. If your name is Stephanie, shout out to you. All right. So yeah, if you like equate eggs to orbs, which you know they are in this like, you know, egg, dragon eggs are the um, year of the dragon equivalent to Ripto Rage's orbs. Um, you can already see like how many I've received. So they, th there's a lot. There's a lot of eggs in these games. And like levels have have a uh, sub areas that are like whole different ch challenges. There's a reason I keep describing Year of the Dragon as like a different kind of monster. If your name is Henry, shout out to you. Another noise that's gone. So these guys, when they start disappearing, they just go, oh! But they used to go, They got rid of that. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry you missed Ripto's Rage. Don't worry. The VOD, VOD's gonna be there for you. I decided not to delete yesterday's VOD either. I just figured, yeah, I'm in a horrible mood, but maybe there were moments that people enjoyed from it, so... Fuck it. We'll leave it up. If your name is Lulu, I'm surprised. Oh, okay. Shiny Hunt was great. What? Oh man, you are a lucky, lucky little egg thief you are. If your name is Brian, with a Y. Shout out to you, welcome in. 
I'm very happy. I'm very happy to have you in particular here. So thank you. Another noise that's gone. If you miss one of these guys, they just laugh a little bit. But in the old one, if you went by one of them and missed it, they went. <laughs> If your name is Jake, welcome in. Shout out to my man Jake from State Farm. Uh, I actually haven't seen the Toad Scroll Shiny. I've seen the Toad School Shiny because I was hunting it, and then I gave up on that because the area I was in just sucked for it. So I was like, ah, fuck that. Uh, in Scarlet and Violet right now, I'm currently hunting Delibird. Like, regular Delibird. While also ha uh, hatching more uh, Fue Coco eggs. So I'm doing them at the same time. If your name is Claire, welcome in. Happy to have you here. Uh, Billy Bugfalker, welcome back for your second month. Did I, did I miss some of the bugs? I, I've been hearing there were bugs popping up all over the place and I just, uh, I just can't contain myself anymore. I'm just feeling a certain way. All right, we freed our first companion character. My next egg Pokemon after Fue Coco, it will be Sprigatito. Go for Sprigatito. All right, we are now Sheila, the kangaroo. Um, yeah, Sprigatito, it has purple eyes. That's the biggest difference. If your name is Ruby, shout out to you. Awesome, uh, awesome Pult, welcome in. Shout out to you too, for subscribing. Do you use some Bezos bucks for that? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I have seen a kangaroo square up on people. They're fucking intimidating, dude. They got packs. I can't believe Cheesy's in buff. It's still, it's still getting to me. I'm, I'm not like. Like I haven't really fully recovered. Hey, if your name is Jenny, I haven't told Cat yet. I haven't, I, I, I haven't found the, the strength yet to tell Cat. You can't break her heart like that, you know. I'm here to fuck up your houses.
Come on, Sparks. There you go. Your name is Nan. Shout out to you. Jenny Lee Cookies, hey! Hiya! Thanks for resubbing. And like I said before, shout out to you. Damn it. Mr. Gem. Way at the beginning, it looks like. Yeah, there it is. All right. Ain't that right, Mr. Gem? Ain't that right, Mr. Gem? Holly. Oh, there was a gem back there. Did you see it? Zephyrin, welcome back for your 34th month. Alright. Collect some gems, kill some Rhinox. This level also contains our first skateboard area. That's one of the new things in this one. If your name is Vanessa, shout out to you! And sound off in the chat if there is a Vanessa here. I already know this one's Miles. I remember that. So if your name is Miles, shout out to you. Sound off in the chat. What category is the speedrun? It's Jeremy category. I believe it's technically called 337. Um, because it's 120 plus 100 plus 117, so that's full completion. I, I believe anyways. It's the next one. Whoop. So this is like, in, in the same way that in Spiral Ripto's Rage, you were locked out of certain areas because you didn't have all the abilities you needed. In this one, you get locked out of certain areas because you don't have the characters. Like, in the uh, Tiki Lodge area, Molten Rock, I think it's called. Uh, something like that. There is a level for Sergeant Bird, but I don't unlock Sergeant Bird until 
uh, the second world. So that's the stuff I'll have to come back for in order to fully complete the world. And um, there are levels where you play as sparks. Uh, those also don't unlock until you've entered the next world. Basically, you beat a home world, and then when you go back to the previous one, a Sparks level will have unlocked. Fuck. Can you talk to me? Thank you. Lucy! If your name is Lucy, shout out to you. Also, sound off in the chat if you're here. All right. I'm gonna assume I got everything. Could be a brutal assumption, but we'll find out. <laughs> now they're gonna kill this giant chicken. You think I'm joking, but... Notice how that guy didn't have a club and he was chasing down that giant chicken. And, oh, look, he's got a giant chicken leg now. If your name is Sanders, get it, chicken, huh, Colonel? If your name is Sanders, shout out to you. Sound off in the chat. Okay, I did miss some gems. Bitch. All right. Uh. Here we go. So it begins. <laughs> the skateboarding. The epitome of the game developers going, eh, why not? Yeah, he's got the six sunglasses to go with it, though. You're right. He is now, like, on brand. It's all right. I can crash right now, and I want to get the gems. I have to do this all again without crashing and, like, within a time limit, but... That's not what I'm doing right now, so I might as well grab gems. Fuck! That sucks. What the fuck? Can we not, game? Okay. Hey, if your name is Emily, right. shout out to you. Sound off in the chat. Okay, so now I gotta do it within the time limit, and I'm not allowed to crash, so hopefully... 
no weird stuff like that happens again. Hey, nice. Got an Emily. Oh. I did not expect him to run that way. Got him. Got him. One here. Woo! Cut that corner a little close. All right. And then we just gotta get the two up here. Got him. Okay. Hey, if your name is Daisy. Oh, there we go. We did it. Okay. Shout out to you and sound off in the chat. That's my mom's name spelled wrong, though. Daisy is a nickname for my name. There you go. Good enough. Hey, that's the motto of this stream, you know? Good enough. Hey, if your name is Liam, shout out to you and sound off in the chat. So this, also for some reason they made these guys like Australian kinda. At last, my portal is working again. Like sort of? It's like broken Australian. Um, we're just gonna run through this level real quick because we'll be back. Once we have Sergeant Bird, so we're just gonna kind of go through really quickly. Yeah. If your name is Curly, <laughs> shout out to you. They're from New Zealand. Hey, we got a Liam. What's up? All right, so that's the one that we can't complete. We can't complete that world right now because... Um, we need Sergeant Bird before we can do that. Bruce! If your name is Bruce, or if you're one of Bruce's gooses, go ahead and sound off in the chat. Dragon Warrior, welcome back for your 19th month. Alright. Yep. Speedways, still a thing. Except now... So in the first game, there was one challenge. Complete the speedway. In the second game, there are two challenges. Complete the speedway and do hunter's challenge. In the third game, there's three challenges. Complete the speedway, do hunter's challenge, and win a race against some form of creature. 
In this case, butterflies. Those spiders to me all like look like sick Pokemon. Like like awesome Pokemon. Okay. Okay, and then we'll hit retry. Yeah, that's the second game. But your friends happen to make a very good soup if I can catch them. Oh, right, this. Okay, this is annoying as hell. Because, woo! Oh, they shoot these orbs at you? That can really get you good if you're not paying attention. If your name is Tater or, or, oh, that's Sabina. It's not even Sabrina. Interesting names. Okay. So that's two of them. Now we just got to do the race. Now the way the races work is you just fly. The blue stars give you a boost and the red stars give you a missile to shoot at your opponents. There's like basically blue stars all along the way that you can snag to boost yourself up. You can flame... Butterflies in front of you. So basically, you just want to try to hit every blue star you can. The butterfly in first will pretty much uh, hit like every blue star except for like one. So you got to really make sure that you're getting a bunch of them, not messing up. See what I mean? Like, the later ones will start hitting. Like, see, that one will avoid, like, one of them. It'll avoid that one. See? But as long as you hit everyone, you should be fine. Wow, wow, wow. And, uh... Take that, dude. Spyro was taking the lead. Oh. I want to just be like, fuck that guy in particular. Also, if you miss a ring, then. You know, you are disqualified. All right. Hey, we got John. If your name is John, shout out to you and sound off in the chat. John Cena! Bam, 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 bam. Damn. Your time is up. My time is now, now. You can't see me. My time is now. It's the franchise when I'm shining now.
Owie. Um, no, I didn't really catch any war games, unfortunately. I was streaming, and I meant to watch it after, and then I just didn't. Mandatory. Enemies like that. Jason! Jason! If your name is Jason, sound off in the chat. Shout out to you. done with the main area of this level. Oh, God. I knew you saw that coming. Frick. Fucking ledge camping, dude. Okay. Do the Sheila area. Oops. This is a very interesting area, by the way. Jared! <gasps> she went to Jared. Oh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That kangaroo's got some hips, you know? She got scoliosis. Is that what they're calling it now? All scoliosis up on a Tuesday? Oh, I mean, listen. I'm, you know, I'm skipping the cutscenes, right? Shout out to Molly, if you're here. Um, I've got a cousin named Molly. It, I'm skipping all the cutscenes, but the, you know, the sorceress, not not the uh, like the sorceress's apprentice or whatever. Yeah. Bianca, that's her name. I couldn't couldn't remember what her name was. My brain right there. I am so 
I have such a problem. Those those seals all came out of there, right? And they were all blue, but one of them was green, and my brain was like, shiny, shiny! Like, I literally, literally my brain for a second Was like, that one's different! Shiny! I got shinies on the brain, dude. Okay. Do I- is this one where I have to kill all the Rhinox? I think I do have to kill them all. Yep. Oh boy. This one can get a little rough. Oh. We're good. The Duke! The Duke! I will simply take my duke tax as is my dukely duties. <laughs> a pittance! Maybe not for someone who wasn't a duke, but as you can tell, I am a duke. Sparks, can you not, dude? Hey, go for a crate. Okay. Jackie! Jackie! Listen to Uncle! One more thing. Wake Wi-Fi be sound, you more wake Wi-Fi be sound. Hold Crap. Am I still missing gems in the main area? Fuck. Uh, it's far, wherever it is. Yeah, I was like, is it in this water? Of course it is. <laughs> Man, I if if Jackie Chan Adventures made a comeback. Oh my god. It's like a new season of Jackie Chan Adventures.
Heat beam eye blasts? That's one of the things I always talk about is that I think they couldn't get clearance to say heat vision. Like it was like the term heat vision was copyright. Um, so I forget his name, but the bad guy with like real big orange hair. Uh, or, or, orange hair. Red hair. Um, he was like, Hawk Fu. That was it. Hawk Fu. He was like, grabbed one of the talismans that gave you heat vision. And he was looking at it. And he was like, huh? What does this one do? He was like, heat beam. Wait, where's this pointing? Oh, it's in the cave. He was like, huh? And he looked at it and it starts glowing and he's like, heat beam eye blasts. And then, uh, and then his eyes start glowing and he like gets ready to use the talisman. He's like, heat beam eye blasts. This is <laughs> Uh, li listen, I I'm I don't know that for a fact, right? Like that that's what happened, but it certainly seems like it when you're calling the ability that everyone knows is heat vision, you're calling it heat beam eye blasts. Listen. All right, time to kill Buzz. Weird. All right. All right, so that was two hits. Now he gets a shield. Worst Dawn fan ever. I almost got him right away with that one. There we go. I don't know if it lets you on the first hit. And now he gets a fire attack. God. He made a move I wasn't expecting there. Well played, Buzz. Grayson! Grayson! All right, so we're gonna, all right, we're moving on. We have to go unlock, we have to go do all of Sergeant Bird's level before we can go back and complete the first world. So we're just gonna go straight there. Bianca's gonna fly in. She still has her hood up, so she's not super attractive yet. Don't worry, it'll happen. All right. I am. 
All right, we're Sergeant Bird. We're a penguin who can fly. Because fuck you, that's why. Thank you, sir. Sir, the Rhinox of this one had to do This game uh, is a real departure. In the best way possible. Siegfried! Hey, who else do you think is in this level? So we had Siegfried. See, I think, I honestly think Sergeant Bird is just a testament to the fact that the only flightless birds, uh, in reality are the ones that just didn't try hard enough. Gems. Uh, I think there's one flying up here. Yeah. There we go. Ryan Lee. I mean, these are probably all like developers and stuff, right? Or, you know, I mean, they match the first game, but I mean, it's gotta be s like family members and friends of the developers and stuff. Like it's gotta be. Cause like there's some names that are just like, how would you come up with that? Like, it's not just a name you're like, oh, that's a, that's a common name. Let's go with that. Like, they're so specific. Pop the bombs. Just turn into a full on bomber. This is also another level that's got a lot of verticality to it. Um, so it's easy to miss gems. I got everything there. That's all right. Sometimes you just want to go fast, you know what I mean?
And it's not a great idea. Alright, I gotta take my time here. If I get hit again, I lose sparks, and I do not want that. Okay. Oh, hello. Thank you. Soon learn how many gems I'm missing. Give me this, in we go. Hey, it's Roy! Ready to be debriefed, sir. She's... She's horny. Uh, okay, it is, it is outside at the end. Dang it. I always forget not to exit level. I should have just opened the guidebook and just gone from there. Back to the level I need to go to. Alright. So now we can actually do this level that we have Sergeant Bird. God, the music. It's just so good, like in every level, like It really isn't fair, like, how good the music is as a constant in this game. You know, like, it has no right to be a banger this often. Yeah. Yeah, Sir Goblins, he did amazing. He's the drummer for the police? Right? I who who uh, wrote all the music for this? Yep, okay. Uh, I like to make sure I've got the main area cleared out before I go into the sub areas. Seeing I don't, I'm missing these. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Charger Birds area, we just gotta put. Uh, we gotta give the Tiki guys their heads back. Yeah. 
without getting hit by these Toucan Sam looking fucks. This can get glitched out sometimes. There's sometimes there's a gem there that gets glitched out. Hopefully that didn't happen, but we'll find out. If it does, you have to reload the level. Welcome back. Uh, is that all of them? Okay, no, we're missing one. Um, we're missing his head. Bomb incoming. There it is. Ooh! Wrestling Rock! Thank you very much for the 10 sub sub bomb. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to Ryan. If you're in the chat. Ooh, crap. Did I? Oh man, hopefully I had every gem. I don't know if it was... Ooh. Hopefully I got every gem in there. Prefer not to have to go back in if I don't have to. That's you? hey -o. Welcome in. Thief time. <sighs> oh, we'll get him. Moira! Aye. Aye. There goes another one. That one was bloody quick. Oh, fuck. He's a quick fucker. Uh, Kermit the Dragon here, and, uh, oh. Yes! Oh, no, we do actually have to exit the level because we have something else to do! Uh, Kermit, <laughs> Kermit the Frog here, and I'm going to rip your eyeballs out and, um, put them in my wallet. Alright. Sparks level. I've, uh, fucking had enough, so if you don't mind, uh, you can fuck off. Kermit's about to Kermit. I'm, uh, I'm gonna pre. I'm gonna pre, dude.
<laughs> Kermit and Pelican Mouth. All right, the key to these Sparks levels is to get one of these green power-ups that I have right now that gives you the 300 shots. And just hang on to that to the end. Don't get any other power-ups. Except for maybe the shield one. But if you can just hang on to this 300 until the end, you will be in a good way. So that's a shield power up right there. We do want that. So you can just barrel through a ton of shit. Okay, and then I don't know if I got every gem back there. We'll have to look and see later. Oh no, I did lose the 300. I didn't even see when I hit that. Oh, it sucks. All right, I think I missed some jumps back here anyways. So we're going to go back, and I think there was another three power-up. Damn it. I don't know when I lost it. I think I... S Weird. I don't, know. I don't know when I got that one. Yeah, I, I knew I left some gems back here, but there might be another green one in here. No, there isn't. Fuck. Got it. We're good. There was another one. We're good. Mm, mm, mm. I think there's a boss in here, right? He's dead. <laughs> That's why you absolutely want to hang on to those until the end. That's another time right there that it, it would have been better for me to go into the... Oh. Nice work, Sparks. Into here to travel rather than actually exit. But now Sparks can get gems from further away. Oh! Alright, first world done. Took one hour. And so, we enter world number two. Um, Spiral 3 is not like Spiral 2. Like, Spiral 2, the worlds do feel... Hey, we got Dave. Like, they get exponentially harder as you get into the later levels. Um, uh, Spiral 3 does not feel like that. Like, it feels like they're all pretty similar in difficulty. It's not like, okay, now we're on to World 4. Ugh. Hey. Oh, thank you, Hunter. Mimbe. Now we gotta save the hipsters. 
That's what this world is. For the hipsters! You'll see what I'm talking about when we talk to one. Gladys! Me? Bear. Uh, is this it? Oh. Oh! Okay. Oh, did I miss? I missed a spot. Hang on. Oh, you know what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. Fuck it. We'll get it all later. It doesn't matter. We'll get it to Sergeant Bird. See, look. He's got like the eyebrow fucking cocked up. The prick. Got a Starbucks in one hand. Sparks Bucks. Skateboarding time? Nice roll! All right, now try to do a flip. To do a flip, hold the Y button. All right, now try to do a 900. Now that's a 900. Now score 500 points on the big slope or whatever. Hey, shout out to Caroline. All right. All you have to do is beat my score. We got two minutes. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. Hey, I got that gem though. Good luck beating my score. Oh, you just won the whole thing? Okay, cool. Oh, well, you know what? I found that one. I probably would have missed it.
Uh, and then we just got the stuff up there. Okay, I think that's it. Shout out to Alex. Yeah, honestly, the easier way to get to that stuff is to go up here. Just do this. <laughs> What Spyro was doing there? <laughs> okay, so this, um... This level is interesting because it has a mechanic that they don't really do anywhere else. Where... You play a Spyro... And then there's a Sergeant Bird area. But the Sergeant Bird area just is this area. You just play in this exact same area as Sergeant Bird. So it's 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 interesting. Um rather than like go to your own sub area. So we do this. We have to go uh we have to rescue Farley. Hey, Farley. Yeah, I know. I got your ball. I kind of forget how to do this one. Just this? Oh, no, no, no. I remember now. Never mind. Thought I remembered. Okay, I remember now. You have to do this, do this. There we go. Farley. And <laughs> the old voice is like, you found Farley. Yeah, I know. I'm ready to so like literally you just pop right back out and here you are. Oh my God, this guy is cracked. You have to make sure you kill all the flying things. You're gonna get all the bones. All the balloons.
<laughs> oh, okay. So they are homing rockets. You just can't really tell them what to hone in on. They just kind of... They just kind of do what they want. Sometimes, you know? Okay. Not the sheep. Thank you. Hey, you know, yeah, I mean, what do you mean a strange dynamic in the game? It's an excellent dynamic in the game. It makes perfect sense. Ralph! Here, he's gonna start flossing! Alright. Come on, Sparks. Eat me to treasure. This is what I was looking for last time. I remember this whole thing. All right. I know, the old dance was so much better, but oh well. Ta bing, 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 bing. Is that, I think that's when Hunter like saves her kind of? Cause I think the first world is where Hunter's like, is it just me or is she kind of cute? And you're like, fucking God damn it, dude. <laughs> you're like, God damn it, Hunter, come on, man. Oh, uh, it's, this is another one that, like, the revoices. I mean, nothing against the voice actors, obviously. Um, but they, they did away with, uh, the original voices, which were, like, Minnesotan, almost Canadian. Like, they definitely weren't 100% sure what they were going for. You know, like... I don't know. It's so hard to replicate the voice they did. He's like, feel free to use our gondola whenever you like. I remember him saying that. And I was like, what accent is that supposed to be? And then other times they're like... They're like, oh, they got TNT, don't you know? Or like something. I was like, what are you guys trying to do? Like, what was the aim? Dab Wars, welcome back for your 18th month. I better have you back for another one.
They also made these little mouse things sound way less horrifying than they used to. They used to come at you and they were like, <laughs> Come on, Sparks. No slacking on the job, dude. I know every sound that's different in this shit. Maynard. There's a town in Massachusetts called Maynard, and it has a steak and cheese shop there called Willy Phillies. Which is unlike any steak and cheese I've ever had before. I'm not saying it's bad, it just is odd. It almost tastes like beef stroganoff in a sub roll. There was a period of time, yeah. There was a period of time where my friends and I used to, like we did a, we, we would do a bunch of research into steak and cheese subs and we'd drive to like surrounding towns and stuff to try like whatever they would call the best steak and cheese from that town. Like we, we went to a bunch of different places. Just like full steak and cheese kick. Um, I think my favorite, my favorite one from the whole thing, and a place I still go to this day, um, is in Waltham, Massachusetts. There's a place called Carl Steak Subs, and. Carl's Steak Subs, they make these fucking insane steak and cheese subs. Like, they're huge and they're so good. And they just like rocking them out of there. Reese! What's the difference between a steak and cheese and a Philly steak? Um, the difference is um, you can just eat a steak and cheese. Uh, a Philly steak, you uh, if you eat it wrong, you'll be berated. If you eat or make it wrong. That's really, that's really the only difference. Leave her alone. Let her do her dance. Fuck off. Uh, 
Um, so, <laughs> yeah, no, like, they even get mad if you don't order it right. Like, uh, uh, Philly cheesesteak. Like, you either have to say, like... It's, it's... You basically say the type of cheese... Like, you'll say whiz wit. That means cheese whiz with onions. Right? Uh, you know what? Let's do this. And then we'll go get the other. Um, we're gonna... We're gonna kind of cheese this area a little bit. Speaking of cheese. <laughs> Um, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of cheese this area a little bit. So basically you chase one of these guys and then the other one jumps down off the thing and... And then you chase him and it's like this double chase thing. Or, instead of chasing the first guy, you just come up here. Fly over here. And then this guy has nowhere to run. <laughs> Just cut it kind of wide and see ya. <laughs> then you go get the other guy. There we go. That's how to do that area a lot faster. See, I don't know why I didn't do this at the beginning. I forgot whether or not I could actually make that jump, and I was like, I think I'll do that later. Oh, uh, sorry. Shout out for Scout. Hell yeah! Is that better? You alright, Scoot? Shout out to Mingus! How about that? Oh. Ah! Oh, you wily fuck! Oh, you bitch! Come here, give me that. Trixie Tang. She's the prettiest girl in school. Tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> isn't like her friend is into Timmy, right? Isn't that the whole thing? Uh, the, the, like, the, like, uh, cheerleader, whatever. Like, she, her, isn't she, like, into Timmy? Yeah? Okay. Veronica? Oh, that's a, yeah. All right. Probably could have guessed that name. Welcome to Spooky Swamp, everybody. That's uh, when he finds out that she likes him. I think it's when Timmy's invisible. I think that's that episode. 
And Crocker's like, I give you an invisible boy! And the guy's like, invisible boy, huh? Well, this is me clapping my invisible hands. And everyone's like, oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, you're right. It was the internet one. That one's, that's a good episode. Um, that's when they, they use that weird, like, which, again, if I ever have a kid, full on, this is something I'm saying all the time. Uh, I'm both respecting your privacy by knocking, but asserting my authority as your father by coming in anyway. I love that. I f <laughs> it's the funniest shit. And then he just has the battering ram. I mean, you know, we all know Timmy's dad is a fucking godsend. Enough with the haikus, all right? When, when Timmy's dad screams, oh my god. Oh, it's so funny. Oh! Can I get... No, okay. Goldberg. What was the thing someone told me about Dinkleberg? Like, there was like a meaning. Double income, no kids. Dinkleberg. Yes. That was it. Double income, no kids. Yeah. Same with Mr. Dink. Cat, hey, beam. She's holding her real tight. She's a tiny beam. Such a little tiny beam. So did you hear what I just said about, like... The Dinklebergs in. So I was told this not too long ago, but the reason that they're called the Dinklebergs, and the reason that like in Doug, there was Mr. Dink lived next door, is Dink means double income, no kids. It's interesting, right? Goldberg. <gasps> That's your fluffy baby. You had three babies on you? <laughs> oh, she drooled into your sleeve? Sounds like Skipper to me. <laughs> yeah, beams. Oh, wait, no, I gotta get the... <laughs> What's going on? Oh, she sees a bug? Do you see a bug, Skip? She's an energetic little beeb! <coughs> oh, 
Oh. Cat and I are dinks. We're full dinks. It's- Hey, it's Monday night. We dinking. Tuesday's gonna roll around. Guess what? Still dinking. Blacks, um, it's clowns. Okay. All right, so basically you have to clear the way for these guys. Otherwise they hit shit and then they blow up. Um, the first guy, he sticks to the path for the most part. I don't think he hits that. He doesn't. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay. The second one's way harder. There's Peggy. All right, the second one, he mostly sticks to the path. Until the end, he switches it up. I, does he go down there? I don't think he does. Oh my God. Okay, he goes over that. Then I... All right, it was that one, okay? Okay. Then he comes to here, and I think he hits the middle one. And then this one. Got it. Oh my god. And Michelle. I like the hopping goes to the beat in the song. Oh, those 25 gems, they feel so good when you find them. You're like, ooh, that number's going up. Ten. I'm gonna be interested at the end to see um, how many, like how long each world took me. So we got one level um, that we can't fully complete. We can mostly complete it. Um, and then we have the speedway, and then the boss, and then we come, then the yeti level. You know, it's gonna be a little bit before we're done with the second world, but that's fine. I mean, we're more than halfway done with the second world. Matt! We found Matt. Is Matt. Okay. Okay. 
All right. Hell, that gem come from? So this is the one we can't complete. Close but no, close but no cigar. Mats, sound off in chat. Let's hear from those mats. Time for more uh, awesome fucking music. These like yaks with the cut lines for like where to eat them on them is, I mean, it's pretty morbid. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, Dwight's. Sound off. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's back here. I was like, there's a guy here. Madison, sound off! Uh, this level's actually pretty short, too. Oh, I'm gonna have to change the controls in a little bit. There's a section, um... Any Toms in the chat? Sound off! If you hear me! Hey, Kaiki! I'm a dragon egg! Hey, Spyro goes good. We are... <laughs> you said a secret word! Um... We are in game number three. We've already completed uh, one of the worlds. There are, f there are four worlds and a bonus world.
So we're just, uh, and we're almost, like, we're getting there on the second world. We're just about done with it. So this is where it really helps to change some controls. Uh, change that. Because otherwise, like, you need to hit left to go right and right to go left, and it gets really, it gets really funky. Anytime you need to aim, changing the controls is highly recommended. How many what left? Games? This is the last game. This is the third one. Final one. Rusty. Oh. All right. Let me just see if this points where I want it to. It does. Okay. All right. We're going to go do the speedway. No, I don't want to head to the Whirly Gig. Fuck you. I was not ready to go to the Whirly Gig. First, I need to get Modesty. Awesome. Now we got all the gems there. So the home world is complete. We're gonna do this speedway, then the boss fight, then the Yeti, then Bentley's level, and then we'll come back, and that will be the second world complete. Uh, nature nerds, welcome back for a year. Out here, oh, this will teach you to peacefully protest. Oh crap, I'm going the wrong way. You always want to go against the, that sucks. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> this, this kind of sucks. <laughs> this one. It, the controls feel very not great on this. You have to like lead them because like the bullets are really slow that you fire. It's 
So you gotta shoot like way in front of them. Or just know where they're gonna spawn like I do. <laughs> Is that the last one? I forget. Nope. God damn. There we go. Roberto! Yeah, now I get guns. Oh yeah, there's a third one there. I gotta remember that there's that third one. Master has given Gavin a sock. Gavin is free. buddy get a dragon coming up on you see ya yeah you know what I don't need to go for that third one There's a little bit of style points there. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone's okay. Fuck that guy. It's coming back! Alright. Alright. Meow! Shemp! Ooh, shiny Fido. Very nice. His name is Poofin. Oh, well, it's not. His name is Scooter. Oh, he is a Poofin. He is a tiny little Poofin dude. They call him Scooter. Oh, he is a Poofin. Yeah, he is a tiny Poofin. Look at you. He's just a Poofin. Do, 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 do. He's just a Poofin. He is a poofim. He is so cute. Uh, he 
He is a poof. Vidu, 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 vidu. He's got a tiny poofing face and tiny poofing paws. And that is how a poofing looks. And that is what a poofing does. Meow. Jesus, dude. They really went all out to make this guy look like a total freak. Scooter. 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 I, I know. I understand. Oh man, a normal... A six-star normal Terra mimic you? I mean, you should just be able to... Punch the shit out of it, right? I mean, it will fairy move you pretty hard, so you need... Uh, probably Lucario would be a good bet, because it will... Oops! It will resist, uh... I mean, it will be neutral to fairy, because of its steel typing. They just did something with getting out of the water in this game. I will gladly open your And now we're Bentley the Yeti. And we smash. Uh, yeah, Toxicro could probably work as well. Brian with an I, all right? We had Brian with a Y earlier, and now we got Brian with the I, like my father. Like Papa, Papa Dooley. One of the interesting things, I think I've brought this up on stream before, is that my dad, so my dad doesn't call me Jeremy, right? He calls me Bud. Like, he very rarely will say Jeremy. Like, it's, uh, if he's talking to me, it's, it's Bud. He just calls me Bud. Um, but like, so when he's talking to my nephew, you know, he'll be like, oh, do you want to, do you want to go to Uncle Bud? Like, he doesn't, like, he very rarely calls me Uncle Jeremy, he calls me Uncle Bud. <laughs> Why don't you go see Uncle Bud? Cody's gonna know me as Uncle Bud. He's gonna Hi Uncle Bud. Hey, how's it going, kid? Charlie! Charlie! That really hurt!
Cat has taken away the screaming one. But with the door open, who knows what monsters will enter next. Could it be the tiny one? Or the fluffy one? Or the voidy one? Or the shithead? The yellow one. Yes, honey. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Wow. That's fine. Okay. I can do those things. Ah. Yeah. Your ears have been popping. Okay, but that's good. Ooh, don't like that. All right, honey. I love you too. Okay. Thank you, Han. I can't reclose my door, so no one's gonna be coming in. Yeah, you can leave that open. I just gotta keep an eye on the plate behind me and make sure no one comes a licking. Yeah, well, I, I didn't know what beams were gonna show up. Detached, welcome back for your 13th month. Oh. We're almost ready for the next split. Hi. Just gotta do the sparks level. Now, once again, out, we'll be trying to hang on to this power up until the end. If we can. Oh God, I didn't even see that thing. I don't know. I think 
Yeah, okay, that's a shield. Good. Shields are good. Shields are good. Shields are great. <gasps> I've got my first visitor. And it's one of my favorites. Uh, hold on, cat's meowing at me. I said meowing at me. What? You got a boo-boo? What happened? Yes, please. That'd be awesome. Thank you, honey. I'm sorry to hear about your boo-boo. Okay. Come on. Okay, don't get that red butterfly. I think that one's just health. Yep, it is. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Tootie! We had Trixie and now we have Tootie. knew I freaking missed something. I'm, I meant to go check as well. I think it's just down here on the left. Oh, it's not. Oh, on the right. All right. Bam. Holy crap. Look how close those are to how long they took. Only 30 seconds difference. In the first two worlds. That's pretty cool. Um, this is probably gonna take a little longer. Um, we don't want to do frozen altars yet. We're gonna save frozen altars, uh, for later. We want to do this one. So, basically, there's a cutscene that happens in the third world, um, where, a uh, Hunter gets kidnapped. And then, you know, later on, I think it's, like, near the third boss, or, like, it's like right before you fight the third boss, I think. Uh, he gets released. But during that period of time, when he's uh, kidnapped, you can't do any challenges that involve Hunter. Like, he's not there. So, you have to... Um, I might, I'm gonna have to get this guy later. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll get him later when I'm up top.
So, basically, um, you, you want to do the levels in the third world with hunter challenges in them first. So that way you don't have to go back once hunter's free. Ooh, that was a good hit by him. If that makes sense. Hopefully what I said makes sense. By the way, this is another level that's got some real annoying... Real annoying challenges in it. It's also just another level that has a lot of snaking underwater paths. Um, and that can be really hard to, like, find all the gems in. And especially in this one, because the water is acid. Craig! Craig's sound off. So see, like... Basically, you dive down and you're in acid. And like, if your shield runs out while you're down here, you just die. Chad! Shout out to the chads. Shout out to all you fucking chads out there. Um, so there's unfortunately like a lot of back and forth you have to do. to make sure you get everything, and it's like really easy to miss, you know, something. I'm gonna assume I got it all. I probably didn't, but that's okay. We'll get it later. corner of my eye. I've detected some yellow. Oh. You sneaky bitch. Oh, is he dead? Did I get him? No, I didn't. There he is. Hey, that person just donated! Oh! Because there isn't an egg for me, Kevin, 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 I assume your name is Kevin. All right. <laughs> it's Mark. All right, so this area, if Hunter's not here, like if Hunter's been kidnapped, you come here and there's just a sign post. And it's like, we've got Hunter, like. 
don't try to get him back, you know? So now you have to race. <laughs> Alright. Maybe that wasn't the greatest technique. Oh, fuck. That's alright. We got what we needed. Better run, boy. So, let's see. I'm just trying to, like, get as many gems on this pass as I can. I mean, at this point, they're probably not going to catch me. Oops. Oh. Still probably not going to catch me. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, there's some chests on the side there. Okay, good to know. All right. Oliver! Now it's time to get and company. Die. Fuck. Now, some might call what I did there bad sportsmanship, but you know what I call bad sportsmanship? Um, fucking holding the young of my species hostage until I beat you in a skateboarding contest or whatever. While also making the stipulation that I have to kill every crab on the course and you don't. Oh, I still got the points for it. Nice. That's what I call bad sportsmanship, right? Like, these are the young of my fucking species, bruh. Whoops! They're not just some playthings. Hey, look, there's Hunter. Alright. Aiden! Alright, so what we gotta do now is try to get all the gems that we're missing. Sir Oh, it's in the Oh yeah 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 it's down it's in there. Okay. His name is Zipper. They call him Zippy Zoo. His name is Zipper and look at Zippy you call him Zippy 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 Zoo. They call him Zippy Dippy Doo. They call him Zipper. Yeah, just call him Zippy Dippy Doo. He is my tiny little zipper. Look at you. Ooh, Zippy. Oh, 
Ugh. Okay, now I have all the gems here. Now I can go into that last area. Uh, is he? St I don't know if he's still in here or not. I I saw him walk like that direction, but I don't know where he went. Uh, where am I? Oh yeah, okay. A little turn around. Like I saw some movement. How do you have three shiny Lechonks? I don't know, but I'm jealous. I need three. Because I need a Lechonk, and then I need the male Oink alone, and I need the female Oink alone. It's your boo. It's your boo. Girl, it's your boo. Look at little Bookie you. I like to call him Bookie Boo. He's just so cute, oh look at you. I call him Booker and he's a looker. He's such a good looking Bookie Boo. I like to call him my little Booker. Uh, I gotta make sure I blow up this while I'm here. Uh, there it is. Okay. I gotta be careful because these ones can actually drop mines. Like that. So if you follow like right behind them, you'll get fucked. Dolores! So now you've got this stressful, like, race against the time to get all of these gems down here. Because again, if time runs out on your shield and you're under the acid, you die. It's not, oh, I took a hit, you know. I, I can take two more or whatever. Wrong. Just die. Cut it a little close there. All right, um, so the other one I need to make sure that I do now before Hunter gets kidnapped is the Speedway. So I just gotta make sure that I do the Speedway um, and then like, I don't need to do Alpine Ridge. I need to do this. And 
All the other ones don't have, um, don't have hunter challenges. Um, there is, of course, a map that I can't finish in this world. That's Fireworks Factory, because that has a Agent 9 level, and I don't have Agent 9 unlocked. 16 months! Burn it to the ground. Welcome back. I love these pissed off bees. They are my aesthetic. <laughs> Everything about them, I uh, just love it. Missed it, okay. That's okay. And then we just get in this boat and basically just fucking haul ass down a river and jump over stuff. That's pretty much it. Try not to hit things. And I think they made this one easier than it used to be. Like, I think you just didn't used to have, uh, as much control. Uh, over, like, you can do little tiny jumps and then... There we go. Chris! Shout out to Nori and Chris we both had there. Sound off. God, look at the stinger on that guy. Chill out, my wife's in chat. Holy crap. Coming for you, purple one. Oh, you're lucky I missed that. I'm still gonna do that to you, though. I'm gonna get you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's this? Oh, What's wrong? You don't get missiles? Oh, you're not willing to use missiles? You're not willing to do whatever it takes to fucking win? So fucking ripe. I 
If you're not willing to draw blood, why even in this race? Like, see that guy? He was already losing. Green guy here? Already losing. He was already in like fifth. I don't give a shit. All right. Henry with an I. All right. Ugh. Oh, do I have to do Charmed Ridge right now? Guess so. We got Jonah inside the whale. By the way, you can get absolutely soft locked in that whale. Like, well, not like you you have to fast travel to get back out, but If he uh if he eats you and he's like near a wall, Stuby. <laughs> if he eats you and he's near a wall, um then you are pretty much fucked. Because he spits you back out, but you hit the wall. So you're still close enough that it starts the eat animation. So there's really not much you can do. Another horrific change in uh in audio was changing how these ducks sound. Sold me something. I didn't know what it did. Freeze him up. Eustace and I were building snowmen until they came to life. That's like how they, that's how they used to talk. It was like super. Cecil. It was like super calm and it was like really weird. Also the snowmen uh, are so much less scary than they were. They used to be horrifying. Like, legitimate nightmare fuel. Ah. Purr. I don't know why, but I feel really cold. Ow.
That's what this guy says. Ready? It would be easy to I don't know what. See? But like he didn't go brr. He went brr. Also, the guy's throwing, uh... Like, oh no! Oh no, guys. It just dawned on me. I totally forgot. Oh, shit. Here we go! Uh, body blow, big hook, high block. Big hookaroo to block high. X for quick jab. Okay. Oh my god. Ah, jab, dick punch, jab. Jab, 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 dick punch, jab, 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 dick punch, jab, jab, oh, ow, jab. Jab, ow, jab, hookaroo! 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 Oh, jab, dick punch! Hookaroo! Jab, jab, dick punch! Jab, jab, dick punch! Jab, jab, hookaroo! Jab, hookaroo! Jab, jab, dick, oh, jab, hookaroo! Jab, jab, hookaroo! Jab, jab, hookaroo! Jab, jab, dick punch! Jab, jab, hookaroo! Jab, jab, dick punch! Jab, jab! Dick punch, jab, jab, 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 dick punch, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the guys that throw the coal, if you um if you, uh, break their little coal pile, like, freeze them and break their coal pile, when they unthaw and they realize they don't have anything to throw at you anymore, they just moon you. They just show you their ass. That was a, a couple of enemies do that in Spyro games, just like moon you. Yeah, the guys in the military tends to do it. You still have to play cat hockey as well. Cat hockey. Oh shit, right, right, right. It's not like hockey hockey. All right. Game. Are we okay? Okay.
I like that they didn't really plan out like, well, how's the other guy gonna play cat hockey? And they're like, I don't know, he's gonna magic hockey stick, I guess. Getting El got a little bit, but we're okay. So there we go. Now Hunter gets kidnapped. So that was Hunter getting kidnapped. Um, let's do Fireworks Factory. So we can't complete this one because there's an Agent 9 section. <laughs> Any buys in chat? I remember this blowing my mind um, when I first played the Reignited Trilogy. How good the fireworks look. The firework effect in this, it looks so good. That. That looks great. I love it so much. Noodles! Good enough. Lava boost. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I hate it. It's very bright. I immediately forgot how bright it was. And then I was in the thick of it. it okay I just realized I still don't know what I'm... Ah, uh, I didn't hit him. I, I still don't know what I'm streaming tomorrow. Do I? Yeah, tomorrow's Mario Party. The day after, I don't know what I'm streaming. Today's Monday. Totally forgot today was Monday. May as well do raids or shiny hunting, I guess. Oh, man. The Winox.
You finally got a shiny charm? Nice. Really changes the game once you got that shiny charm. Is he dead? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Wait, is there still one in here? Don't think so. I don't know how that guy didn't hit me, but whatever. I'm not gonna ask too many questions. Sam! Shout out to all the Sams. Grady! Shout out to all the Grady's. All right, um... Uh this this can get a little irritating. So you have to kill like these giant like you know Chinese dragons, right? Chinese style dragons. And uh basically you you have to focus on one and not let up cuz they regenerate. See, like the purple one's coming back already, but I just didn't know where he went. And obviously, as you hit them more and more, they get smaller and smaller. He was starting to heal there. Come on. There we go. Is, is he dead? No, he's not. One more hit. He's dead. Okay. One of them's dead. I'll take that. This whole challenge. <laughs> Fucking suck it. Got some good hits there. Evan! Not hard, just long. The slogan of showers everywhere. We need. So I, I like definitely missed gems in the main area.
Okay, is that all the gems for this area? Can't tell if he's pointing at the door or if he's pointing over here. Okay, he's pointing at the door. Okay, so I saw these down here. Okay, sweet. So that's it for this level. For now. We'll come back once we have Agent 9. Um, so we still have Charmed Ridge. That might be it. I mean, the Speedway. So we got the rest of the uh, overworld here that we have to do, which is a lot of like looking for shit underwater. Uh, we got Charmed Ridge, and then we got this. Oh no, we did the Speedway. I think just Charmed Ridge. I think just here, and then the and then the rest of the home world, and then I think that's it. Like, then, you know, we'll go into the fourth world. We'll unlock Agent 9. It is very easy to get your ass kicked in this level. I don't, it's something about the enemies in this level are like... They're just, like, hyper-reactive to stuff, I feel like. Once you hit World 4 as well, Moneybags is freaking everywhere. And he nickel and dimes the fuck out of you. Zipper, what are you doing? Benjamin! What are you doing in there? What are you doing? What are you up to? You're slinking around. So I feel like you're up to something. Anytime I see you slinking around, I know that you're snooping. Throw them out. All right, so we're trying to stop the forced marriage of the princess to Prince Azrael. Or whatever. Red Thunder, welcome back for your 15th month. Frog! Alright. Huh. I lost sparks! Be a frog! Zipper.
She ran off with a bad boy. There's a lot of noises I don't like. Zipper. Alright, this one's doable. You just gotta, like... There we go. I, I have to hold the controller in a very specific way to mash the right buttons. So basically, I just am tapping the A button enough to keep me at this height. And then I just mash B. Got it. <laughs> hey, you know, it works. <laughs> I forget if the mystery thing resets if I go in another area. I believe it does. Ouch. Which kind of sucks. It's right there. Let's do this, and then I'll go into the last area. Wow. So, yeah, you've had good luck tonight. Nice. That's great. That's great. Great news. Um, oh, shit. Where is... Oh, yeah. Uh. And then the opportunity is there to cheese something. Do it. Don't have pride. Pride is the killer of speedruns. <laughs> Yeah, this one, this is the one that, like, goes on for so long, because then you get to this point, and you're like, okay, this is it, right? Nope, there's another one. Like, I'm already back at the beginning. It's like, no, 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 It's way back at the beginning, right, Beeb? Right, tiny Beeb? It's tiny, little, little, tiny, little, tiny Beeb. All right, in fairness to Zipper, I might have been yelling at him. I might have been going, hey, 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 and it wasn't him. Very possible that it was Skipper. Just being a general nuisance. Hi, Zip. Oh. Oh, all right, this is a nice spot. Have I ever seen a Zelda Breath of the Wild speedrun? Oh, this is guy with the soulless black eyes, which is hor like horrific. Um, I haven't, but 
having not really played Legend of Zelda and just like seen videos of people playing it and stuff, I have to assume it's a lot of like taking a boulder and freezing it in air and then like grabbing onto it and launching yourself across the map type shit. Yep. Yep. Shelly. Need that other yellow one. The Golden Goose, which inexplicably looks like a person. Chuck. Someone's like Chuck. Looks like a short Dragonite. <laughs> I can see it. All right. Um, well, don't know what that sound was. Uh, so we just got to clear out the rest of this home world. Involved going up here. This is where the sparks level is. Once we return to this area, Hannah, shout out to you. So, um, I have a hundred and five eggs. I I don't remember how many there are. I want to say there's like 150. Stuart! Shout out. One fifty. So you know, it gives you an idea of how close we are. Homeworld done. Ted. All right. Oh, it's uh, yeah, there's the bonus one. 
uh, 151 total. All right, it is 11:30. Oh. Hey, buddy. Just give a little... Bentley, excuse me. I really shouldn't like stand my ground with those. Yeah, he just spawns the first boss. All right. First things first, Agent Nine level. Entering Midnight Mountain World. I think Midnight Mountain should take the least amount of time to complete as opposed to the other three because I don't have to come back to it. I have to come back to it to do the Sparks level. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't have to come back to it, so. Look, look, now our hood's down. Oh, hi, how's it going? All right. No splits yet. No splits yet. I know you guys say it every time. No splits yet. Uh, what I do have to do is this and that. Okay. Oh wait, I didn't set it. Um no 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 control scheme reignited control. There we go. So basically now you just play it like a third person shooter.
Monkey's got a gun. Someone gave the monkey a gun. Weirdly up and down are still inverted in this screen. I don't know why. Monkey. Mm. Monkey. This is Sniper Monkey. This is the OG Sniper Monkey. Die! No nesting allowed in here. Sorry, this isn't going to be a place for you to raise your kids. Not what I'm doing. Oh, that might be too far. Oh, nailed it. All right. Fire! I'm gonna get you! There we go. Oops. Oh, that still works. Okay. Rowan. Okay, we just need to go get the rest of the treasure. Hey, that person just died. Oh, that scared me. Monkey, monkey, you have shown me monkey. Mm, monkey. Mm, monkey. Mm, monkey.
Monkey. All right. All right, we're going to get the secret in here too, make our lives a little easier. I think it's in the room behind us. Alright, we're gonna just kind of make these guys stop for a second. Okay. Yep, okay. There we go. Monkey. Yeah, it makes this mini game like way easier to get that that secret gun there. Not that it's like the hardest thing in the first place, but it's it's definitely like can be a little a little annoying. It's way easier like in the reignited um setting into like the reignited controls because then it just plays like a first person shooter but like in og controls oh not great not great We got Patty. Oh, weird. Why am I stuck? Okay, there we go. Let's see, because you can do stuff like that with this gun. Hey, you can't really do that with the regular gun. Honestly, you're just gonna conserve enough ammo to like make it through both parts and then you're fine. Hold on. I forgot what was and wasn't the right way. Thank you.
Ayo. We got Donovan. All right. We're almost ready. We are almost ready for another time split here. But now since I'm not monkey... Another drill. We've got the 300. Hang on to it until the end. Basically, there's other power ups like that one there. Don't want it, it's way worse. Only ever the 300. There is a shield. I don't know if there's a shield in this one. I mean, I'm sure there is. Uh, I just don't remember where it is in this level. That one's not. That one's not. Um, the one that's a shield, it, it actually looks like black almost. It looks very different. Oh God, no, 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 no. Oh god. Stop shitting out starfish. All right. No more starfish. boss and we and we kept our oh wait did I die fuck oh man I almost had him I almost had him now we gotta do it the real way oh god oh is that oh that's just health Yeah, it still wasn't bad. 
Okay. That was... It was mutual... <laughs> mutually assured destruction. It really was. We both died in there. I thought maybe I could kill him first. All right, there it is. Evening Lake, done. On to Midnight Mountain. Okay. Saki. So this is the last home world uh, besides the bonus world. Last home world of the entire trilogy. We're here. Billy! We've got uh oh. Oh my god. Oh no. It can't be. It can't be. You're supposed to be dead. Protect Spark! Sparks! Run! Oh, I can't help but notice that's a fine looking firefly you got there with you. Oh, I can't keep my god, god given eyes off of him. Oh, they really pulled the plug on something in this level. In the, uh, in the remake. Yeah, there's a, there's a big difference in this level near the end. I guess there's two big differences. Um... In this level at the end now nah, you know you know what when we get there we'll talk about it when we get there it's all good you know Oh, Nelly. That's weird. Patience, thy name is not Dan. <laughs> Side scrolling action. Lester.
Okay. Pete. We've got Pete. Uh, yep. Here's the tax man again. Here you go. Yep, 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 yep. So, here's this character. Well, well, look at you showing up. Tara. You know, oh, LOL, it's a joke on, on Laura. It's like Laura Croft, but it's Tara Croft. Get it? <laughs> um, so, in terms of how she looks... Um... As I said before, there were uh, two huge changes made to her from the original. Uh, they went, uh, yeah, no, well, we'll avoid that. I'm not saying they were wrong. You know, just... You know. Wow, I got, I got, I was doing really well at the beginning there too. <laughs> I got caught by a rogue one. I'm just gonna kind of cruise along, grab some, grab some gems while I'm here. Alright, that's it for eggs here. Now we just need gems. Oh, wait, where where are you pointing? Up here? Here. Okay. That old waist contains spine and nothing else. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the old Tara was very thin. I mean, like, hourglass doesn't even really uh, sum it up, but, like, the dimensions were absurd. Oh, you know what? It's it's up there, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think I remember. Is it behind me now? Yes, okay, I remember now. All right, uh, yeah, there we go. Oh my God, please. <laughs> She was a rat, but they didn't indeed give her Hooters, which is interesting because Hooters eat rats. 
They're a pretty common prey item. So it's like... It's the irony. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't know if I had to answer that now or not. Hey, I need one of these. Thank you. And you, you suck. Egyptian! Oh boy. One more. Thank you. Okay, just one more. I have one more. Thank you. Okay. Um <laughs> Oh boy. This area kind of sucks by the way. You can get absolutely annihilated in that area if if just the rocks aren't in the right. They're just not lined up well for you. I have this. Thank you. I have. I have another. Christine. Thanks for being here, Christine. If you are here. See what I mean about those? Need another one. Thank you. I see. I am a best. Mm. Will. We got Will. The 
Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so then we go like... MJ! That guy didn't even have any cover. Okay, we're just gonna have to get in there. That's, I mean, that's gonna hit me, but whatever. <laughs> What's harder? 100% crash or spiral? Crash. Yeah, easily crash. Crash is way harder. Oh god, ow. Honestly, anyone who says uh crash is easier has not played both games. Crap, I just realized I have to set my controls back. Uh, I mean, I should be... I should be okay. Just, like, really grind into the wall to make yourself go slow there. Alright. That's another level done.
So we got two more levels. A sp and a speedway. We got uh, crystal something. And then uh, dino mines. Buddy! Dan! There. There's the guy. Try to get through this place as best we can. This was so. This was the other level they let us play when I went to Toys for Bob. We got to play this, and we got to play Treetops. I remember just being like, "Oh my god!" Oh, Dan <laughs> gifted a sub. Thank you, Dan. Cause he's like buff seahorses. Romy. Guys, I can't believe it. The end of this week, Friday, taking the fucking day off. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Isn't that nuts? Be like, man, I want to watch Jeremy stream today. It's like, well, too bad. Too bad, you can't. Oh, oh, you know, I'm going to be shiny hunting all day. I'm gonna be sitting on the couch. I'm gonna cook cat some eggplant parmesan for dinner. Kiki. Here we go. Uh, uh, please excuse me. Thank you. It's a skill point of you kill all of those guys in here. But you don't actually have to hit them. So you can just avoid them normally what I do.
Uh, skill points are- they're just like additional things that you can get in the game. Um, in addition to... Uh, in addition to like... Uh, they give you an extra life. But they, they don't actually control anything. They're like in-game achievements. Yeah, that's that's you're totally right. Do 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 do. Turn on down 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 a little. Like the skill points killing that red dinosaur in the background there. Sergio Hundred and thirty six. Fifteen eggs remaining in the whole game. Fifteen. And that's it for Dino Mines. One level remains. And one uh, speedway. One level, one speedway, one sparks level, one boss, and then the bonus world. That's it. Oh, I'm absolutely finishing this tonight. Absolutely. I, I didn't mean... Oh! I was like, why did I do that? There we go. I, I could not for the life of me understand why I blew fire at that guy. And then I was like, oh, it's because... In the reignited controls, right trigger is breathe fire. Uh, in the old controls, it's uh, it's B. So I hit right trigger to turn the camera, and next thing I know, that guy was on fire. Err. <laughs> All right. Uh. That didn't happen. Oh. 
Just ignore that. Just ignore that last part, you know? Is that part of the music, that scream? I don't remember that in the music. <laughs> it's really... Horrifying. <sighs> that was close. I almost got popped out of that. Kill the demon flying beavers. Take that, you abominations of nature. The last time God fucked around with a beaver, we got a platypus out of it. Look how that turned out. Look where that caught us. I fucked it. Fuck that. Lloyd, dude, epic. Uh, I don't have the key, so can't do that yet. What's this one? Oh, big slide, rep. Okay. Uh, the Yeti, the Bentley challenge in this stage actually really sucks. It's actually a fucking waking nightmare. That music is horrifying. How did I not know that that's how this music sounded? Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, I literally cannot tell you how much I don't want to do this. So basically, what you have to do is kill enough badgers within the t or gophers within the time limit, which I don't think I'm going to be doing. If you hit the dudes at any point, then it ends. Yep, I hit a dude. 
Oh. You have to get really lucky with where they spawn and where the guys spawn. I'm so fucking stressed out. Did I get it? Oh! That was... Dude, that, that thing is so freaking stressful. Okay, I think I think I got everything in that area. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we gotta do this. Okay, do that. Hey, speaking of Platy. <laughs> oh, that was interesting timing. We have limited time with flight. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I think there's another place I need to go besides just here, but whatever. Uh, the reason I don't want to do that, if I can avoid it, is because, uh, Getting that egg immediately gets rid of your flight. So, like, if I could just go here. Hopefully, if this could be it. This could be all the gems I need right here. Uh, it is not. So, I'm missing some gems. Oh, I think I know where it is. I think I know where it is. Well, uh, actually, maybe I don't. I think it's up here. Yes. Is this it? Yes. Okay, that's it. That's the last level. The levels are all done. Across all the games. Speedway. Sparks level. Um. Rest of the home world. And then that's it. And boss and bonus world. So... Okay, I'm just trying to complete this. That's the last egg. Okay. Okay. Home world's done. All right. Last speedway. The 
do this. The hunter mission here is kind of annoying. I'll be honest. I'll tell you, this map does one thing, though, that annoys the hell out of me. Um, I forget if they changed it and reignited it. I don't think that they did. Um, it says, you know, there's like race the butterflies, race the bumblebees. There's always like a race. The race in this one is race the blue-footed boobies. Which, you know, it's a bird. That's a bird. Blue-footed boobies are a bird. They don't have fucking blue feet. That's why they're called that. That's why they're named that. Look, that's them. That's them. Flying. Literally unplayable. All right. This uh this sucks this bit. You have to fly through all the smoke rings. Um, if you get too close to him, you're pretty much screwed. It's like I'm trying to make all my turns like really wide and... Because if he, like, makes a sudden turn and you're, like, right behind him. You, like, don't have enough time to readjust. Like, I don't like how close I am to him right now, but I think I'm right near the end. I think he crashes on this. Yeah, okay. Okay. Kobe! Race the blue-footed boobies! Absurd. It's an insult. I think this one Yeah, I was gonna say I feel like that one fucks me up all the time. Okay. I'm not gonna go for the missile there. The the missile makes that really hard to get back on track. Um so I'm not gonna go for that missile. I don't need it. That was me forgetting the controls are inverted. <laughs> That was totally me forgetting the controls are inverted. <laughs> My brain lapsed for one second. See, I'm, I'm much better. Oh, and then there's that one down there I should go for. Get off my ass, dude. Okay. Roasted the guy in second. 
Come here, man. See, I don't actually need to go for that one. Now that I'm in the lead, they're really not going to be able to catch up to me. So we're just gonna cut straight across. Woo! Doing like micro adjustments there. I'm actually not gonna get that boost because I just don't need it. a lot of really unnecessary risk so all right cool that's it that's all the speedways Jesse all right boss fight Six eggs left. I know. That's crazy. All right. Here we go. Boss fight against the sorceress. We're 10 hours in. So, I don't think we're going to beat the 10 and a half that I was aiming for, but... Wait, you know what? We'll see what the what the game said. I like that the game times... The game times me. Alright. Okay, we just need to wait. This bit's the the hardest bit of this. Okay, there we go. Now we're into the second bit. Come on, Agent Nine. There we go. You can steer this one. Fuck. There we go. <laughs> okay, now we get the flying saucers. We got one? We got one. Not the easiest things to fly. One more hit. Got 
Got it. Okay. We got George. Okay. And then, like, oh, she's still alive. Cutscene. 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 Credits. Okay. Getting there. Plug in Savage. Welcome back to your 17th month. All right. Now we kick the shit out of money bags for a while. Get all the gems back that we paid him over the course of the game. All the way up to, I think, 12,000 it will get us to. Nope, 14,000. What? It's more than that? I thought it was four. I thought it was an even number. I guess not. Or 15,000. All right, we got Al. And there he goes. Okay. I feel like I'm missing some eggs. That thing glitched the fuck out. How many times have I played through this? Oh, I don't know. That's not a number I can accurately give. Got a shield. Oh, that shield was good. Yeah, I think I should have like a couple more eggs than I have, which is concerning. So we'll have to see where I'm missing eggs. I could be wrong. I might not be missing any eggs. All right. So we're at 15,000.
Oh, that didn't go as well as... as it could have gone. Annabelle? Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, the last four from... Oh, you know, let's find out. Let's find out. We'll head over to where the bonus world is. And if it opens... Then we're good. Remember... Oh, I'm missing an egg in Crystal Islands. I'm missing an egg. Ah. I was like, this doesn't feel right. I think I'm missing something. And I am. I'm missing... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm missing... And... There it is. All right. I thought we got the level complete marker too. That's all right. We're good. Okay, now I can see that it's open now, so we're good. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on to the final split. This is it. This is the last one. So this is where the sorceress keeps all of her treasure. Basically, there's a bunch of different challenges. And as you complete them, you get enough money to unlock, like, the next challenges. the cash money now. Alright. So like we, we, we unlocked enough gems to open this door. So now we play this mini game again. bit harder because they're like they're faster in this one you don't always need to complete the lock on Oh, he went, he went in here. I saw the bubbles. All right. Check it out. Surprise. 
This one is the worst one. Uh, especially if that happens. Oh, why did you turn sideways at the end, dude? He is just, I don't know why this crashing is happening so much. You are spinning all out of control, my guy. There you go. I mean, we should still be fine. went for it. I got greedy. I went for the triple. What the fuck game? Can we fucking not with that? not gonna fuck around right now. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna cross the finish line, have this done, and we'll go get the rest. There we go. That's what I wanted to do that whole race. Hold on. Ah, I I need to get that. Ugh. We'll have to we'll have to there's a gem up there I need. Basically what I'm doing right now is just looking around for any gems. I think there's just one at the beginning. Got that. Okay. I think there's just one at the beginning and that's it. See if we can get it. So we jump up here. And then here. Here. And. Yep, okay, sweet. We got everything there. That's done. Okay, not there. Um, is the... Yes! Okay, sweet. Now we gotta get the flying saucers. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, the game really didn't like that. It lagged out a bunch there, but that, we're okay. Too many gems! Uh, where's the last one? Where's the last one? Where's the last one? There it is. Boss fight. Come on. You're going to I'm going to drown you in the lava. Ow. Evasive maneuvers. Come on. Time. Wait, no, I need the egg. I need the egg. There it is. Time. Time. Well, hold on. If I, yeah, that's it. The game says eight hours, 38 minutes, and nine seconds was my play time there. So without cutscenes and I guess loading times, that is the gameplay time. Eight hours, 38 minutes, and nine seconds to get 337%. Um, isn't that about an 18 minute improvement of last speedrun? I believe it is. So 10 hours, 15 minutes is what I had on my timer that was going. That says eight hours and 38 minutes, whether or not that's actually, you know. As new personal best. New PB, right there.